Hey guys, I was been missing this game so much, especially after we got ourselves a freaking golem. <laughs> We're going to be doing some pretty fun stuff, I think, today. Now, we are going to actually progress the story a little bit, but the first thing I want to do, I want to go smashing. If I can, there we go. So, we have the big guy up here and all, but I think... It is time to smash his mountain a little bit. There might be some hidden stuff in here, too. I, like I mentioned last time when we recruited the golem, I love this so much. Oh my goodness, is it satisfying. I wish we got one earlier now. <laughs> we do need to think of a name for, it, for our golem, too. Will they be male? Female? Will they be indifferent? Could name him after Marx, who's the one who told me about uh, the golem and where to get him. Marx the golem. Has a ring to it. Or I could combine it with all the other chatters that have helped me out in this game, so we can name it something like Ugly Marx Lodo. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad, a bad combination, to be honest, but eh, we'll see. Right now, I'm just glad that all this chert or whatever the hell it is, is weight getting wasted down. I like that it disappears afterwards. Oh, this is like extreme home makeover in a way. Just like, we're just going to destroy all the mountains, the foundation, and then we'll repurpose everything, except... I don't know when we're going to repurpose this. This is just me going like, yeah, smash it. <laughs> I'm the builder and I'm doing a lot of destruction here. Let me take a look-see to make sure we can actually do this okay. I'm kind of ruining his little mountain here. You know what? Let's go a little further down. There's supposed to be something hidden around anyway. I wonder how early we could have gotten this golem, actually. I imagine sometime after Crumbledon, maybe, but... This is... Like, I wouldn't be able to hammer some stuff yet anyway, since I wouldn't have the ultimate hammer... Well, the mostly ultimate hammer that I have. God, is this so good, though. I love it. Just... <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is so satisfying! <laughs> to smash it all! Hey, it's the potato, don't mind me. I am just smashing the shit out of this mountain. <laughs> And probably ruining some things eventually, too, but I don't care. I just love this. This is just so satisfying. Hey, look at that. Now we have an underpass. How about over here? i got to be careful. <gasps> you playing on the PS4? Yes, I am. We're just going to go ahead and smash the crap out of things. I mean, I'm going to try to have some purpose when I do this, by the way. So now we have a little... let's take a look. Yeah, we have a little bit of a roadway now, so that's okay. <laughs> Any Starve to Death gameplay today? I'm thinking of playing it tonight. Uh, later tonight instead. It'll be the super hard mod again. <laughs> super smash that crab. But yeah, let's go ahead and tunnel our way. The Mafia mod? Yep. That's my plan, anyway. Unless I really am feeling up to Ogre Battle 64 later, but I'm honestly kind of craving some Don't Starve. I have uh, all fun and games to think for that since I saw him streaming earlier, and it just made me want to play. Just smashing, smashing, smashing! <laughs> I can't do a Nodule Thornberry, but oh my goodness, I, if he, you heard his voice every time you just smashed this... <laughs> That would be, actually no, that would be really sickening after a while, but still. What's your emblem picture? 
Uh, on the PS4 here, it is Eric from Dragon Quest XI. Hmm, let's see. Alright, we'll make a little underground tunnel. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to drown in the water. <laughs> Eric was my bro all throughout uh, Dragon Quest XI, so I feel like, you know, his icon makes the most sense. Even though that pose and that facial expression is not the best. It kind of looks like... Huh? <laughs> If you're talking about the one on my channel, the, uh, not on the PS4, but the channel itself picture, that is a photo of a, uh, sorry, a drawn, it's a drawn image of a character I played in Ragnarok Online that, uh, also doesn't look too different for me other than, you know, it's, it looks, it looks super fancy and I am super not. <laughs> we are just doing it. Smash it! Yeah! Tell me, is this not satisfying? I mean, imagine going from... Here's the thing, normally we don't have access to this smash. Normally, we only have, like, our hammer, which we can... We can smash a decent amount, but it takes so much more charge time. This is just like, fuck yeah! <laughs> Let's open up the seabed. <laughs> the seabed won't come in. The seabed is a wall of water. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious to me. Oh, hang on, we don't need a close-up of his booty. Alright, alright, I think I had my fun. We should probably, you know, do what we were meaning to do, but I just needed to smash. <laughs> By all means, if you think there's something else I should be smashing that isn't just, you know, like, needless de wanton destruction. Well, it can be needless wanton destruction, but if you seems, like, productive anyway, feel free to let me know. Also, let's make this flat. Oh yeah, this is so good. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. Thank you, Golem, you're the best. We do have to give him a name. Maybe I should just name him Smash. I think that's what his name's gonna be, is gonna be just Smash. <laughs> we got Chica here, our Cosmic Chimera, giving us a flight. All right, what do I have in here? I have a lot of guard. <gasps> There's Rosmir! We found it! Oh, we got a mission. Hulk, the crappier version. I don't know if he's the crappier version. I would say he's the knockoff version. Because <laughs> crappy just says that he's bad at what he does. No, no, he's not bad. He's just not as, probably not as strong. He's still strong, though. All right, we got a, a new mission now here. Let's go ahead and deposit the raw foods for now. Uh, and the dolomite, maybe. We have a new mission. We're going to grab Ra's mirror. We're also going to grab all this, too, because this should not be in here. Damn it, people. They like to shove everything. Oh! I didn't realize we had that many leaks. But they like to shove everything in the nearest chests instead of actually, you know, putting them somewhere smartly. What is what is this? Marble? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and put these away. Can you play Don't Starve on console? I believe so. I think it's on all the general consoles. It, I just don't know if it's, uh... It's not as updated, I know that. Okay, let me go ahead and place a chest here so that they actually, you know, put it in there instead. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of the chest... Oh, jeez. Get rid of the chests over here. At least this one. Uh, let's see... And that's just the music that I'm honestly just going to leave. And this is all the townspeople stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and name our golem. I don't want to name him Hulk, though. I think I'm going to just name him Smash, like I thought. Unless you guys got a better name for him. Smash him? Mm. Golurk? <laughs> nah, nah, he wouldn't be a Pokemon. 
Alright, let's just name him Smash. Anyone else? We're good. Alright. I'm gonna... Oh, he should go in the desert, actually, because he can... Yeah, he can make desert stuff. So I'll relocate him to the sands. You're a good boy. You're a good boy there, Smash. He's just gonna say goodbye. After he gets here, eventually, he's gonna say, Oh, right, goodbye. Thanks. Me like you. <laughs> All right, we did that. We got our mirror. Let's go ahead and drop by the farm again real quick. Folk the Lego version. <laughs> it, there's a limit in characters. Anyway, this is our farmland. Whoa. Hello. That's a giant pumpkin. Or a melon. It's a plumpkin. <laughs> it sure is. Holy shit. But yeah, these are our farmlands. They're looking pretty. Because we got ourselves tomatoes, cabbage. These are the melons. That's why we got a golden melon. Melon. Our sugar cane and uh, heat root. Then we got our all briquettes. Strawberries. Wheat. Corn. I think these are the more potatoes. Yeah, these are the potatoes. I have a couple of extra potato seeds, so let's go ahead and plant those. And we have chili wait, what is that? Chili seeds? Okay. And sweet corn kernels, so we gotta also plant the corn as well. That was a giant pumpkin though, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and just get this planted. But we are gonna be going to actual furrow field, since we got Ra's mirror, since there's a little something special we could do. Is this game co-op online? It can be! Right now, it's only same, uh... Same console generation only, though, so PC can go with PC, PS4, PS4, Switch with the Switch, you know? Alright, and we have the chili, this is over here. Okay, and then we have a bunch of leaks, too. Oh, this is where we have our leaks. Okay. We're doing good here. Then I have my farmers, my little farmers uh, spots here. We got down here our cafeteria. They built the cafeteria, dining area, and restaurant for reasons. Ooh, moo moo cow. Hello. I'm just looking over everything we've done to make sure I didn't forget anything. We made our spa and our huge, amazing spa, I should say. It's a music hall and spa resort. Get in, Scotty. You so damn bloody those boss around here. Well, I gotta eat. My, he's like starving. There you go. Nice base. Thank you. This took a lot of work last time. We were also doing a lot of remodeling and such. That's why I said I'm finally gonna progress the story in a bit. We want to first, you know. We're going to do a little bit of design, but I think no later than the one hour mark are we going to actually... Are we going to start the, the rest of the story? Because we're basically towards the end game here. I know a lot of people, what they did is put their farms... Hang on, to get an overview. They put their farms in the river or on the river here, but I was like, screw that. I want that near base so we've got an easier, faster time. Oh, hey, Ugly Monster Face, you're going to wash some dishes, then you'll be back? All right. Well, thanks for stopping by to let me know. <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, this is like the river. It doesn't really have much. It's just kind of sort of designed whatever. Also, the music's going to keep going differently because it has like three different themes going on. I'm thinking I'll do something with the river. I just don't know what yet. I'll probably take some ideas later anyway. 
I really do want to smash up the mountain a bit, though. Or at least make it not look so blocky. I want to kind of make everything nice and square and such. Because I like things nice and uh, symmetrical. <laughs> what are bits? You're new to Twitch? Oh, you are? Uh, bits are a way to kind of like cheer for your uh, streamer. They're like, one bit is basically like one cent or something. That's why you have to buy them for more than that. <laughs> so that way Twitch can get their cut. But yeah, um, you can get some for free by watching advertisements. You could also just buy them on deals. And I think that's the only options. And you might not be able to get them through advertisements if you're not in the United States. I know, like, Canada can't. Don't worry too much about them, though. Like, I'm not pressed for getting them. If you want to do them, I'm fine with that. Oh, here's our petting zoo over here. Our little garden pool. Yep. Our monsters are in there while we have our farm animals over here. All right, was there anything I was forgetting? I do want to drop off some goods. Let's just check out our cafeteria. This is all our food. I'm gonna take out some of the sweeties out. Let's see, um... You know, I'm just thinking of something. I should put anything with stars in here. And just, and I should only take the stuff that are not stars, so that way that they, the villager peoples will be happy and get more gratitude, since apparently that's a big thing to worry about. I'm not sure why, but well, I, I'm told I'll find out. I think you'll like a game called Days with a Z. Alright, uh, remind me later then, because uh, I'll look it up then. But yeah, I'm also taking the food though that has special effects. Like, this one is attack up, so I'm taking it. I don't care about the star value. Farmer's Rat Bay, I'll may as well keep it. Uh, these are just for running, but I have enough of those with the Farmer's Rat Bay, so I'm not worried. We have... Yeah, it's still for running. Oh, wait, what's that? Coffee's for keeping awake. This is just for making them happy. Take the eggs. This is for smashing with my hammer. That's for poison? I don't remember what that is. I don't remember what that effect is. It's not the same as that. I'll take the milk anyway. And this is just going to be my regular food. And let's go ahead and stow those leeks. Ugh. They put things in the wrong spots again. They always do that. They, they are always going to mess up our perfection. <laughs> oh, hey, Sarah, how you doing? Haven't heard from you in a bit. I've had off for a while now. I hope uh, you're feeling better. I'm going to go ahead and put away some stuff. Me, um... Uh, you know. Like, I've been okay since I've been off from work. But I've been, you know, I've just been having, like, those paranoid thoughts as usual. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. <laughs> Not something I discuss on live stream completely. It's just letting you know, like, everyone has those. That, like, you know, when you get, if you get a random feeling of dread or whatever, that's essentially what it is. Also, I'm going to take those eggs back out. Hi. Hi. Okay, this is special effects stuff, so go ahead and take it. I'm trying to get my raw foods out of here. Bananas, apples, this, 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 and... So your stir fries. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So let's deposit the eggs. But yeah, sometimes you just can't shake that feeling. Would you stop putting the eggs in there? No. This this girl is going to drive me crazy. She keeps putting random crap in here. Ch 
She is the best cook, though. Put that in there, and that in there. Nope, you're not going in there. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, take those away. I think... Take, take the already mood, made food stuff out and put you in there. You in there. You. You. We almost got it, guys. We almost can put everything in here like I wanted to instead of them messing this up. Ha! There you go. I'm going to put fruit plumbe in here. This in there. The pumpkin pies and the pumpkin soup. No. What did you put in here? No, no pumpkin pies in there. Stop that. <laughs> I'm basically fighting the NPCs for organization here, and they just don't won't have it. But okay, okay, enough of that. <laughs> yes, pumpkin pies. Yeah, yeah, we're making a lot of awesome new foods. Eventually, I'm going to actually like get things uh get more re new recipes i was trying to think of what i was saying there all right let's take all this we're good all right before i forget let's go to furrowfield now because we want to go to furrowfield and find that dog and show it the mirror because apparently that's a thing that we need to do but yeah we did a lot of work here oh and those are the bathrooms nice and private ish So let's do it. We're gonna go warp over to the docks. Hmm. Anything good going on though, uh, Sarah? Like how's church going and such? <laughs> Nothing? Oh, all right. I got my, uh, I got my standing desk delivered already. My new mattress is coming soon. And also my aunt gave me her... Oh, I can't bring them! Damn it! I'm alone on this one. Yeah, it's okay. Someone stole your Girl Scout... Your Girl Scout nut order from church? What the heck? How could they steal it from you? I thought you have to, like, buy in advance or something. No, you do buy in advance, so then, uh, yeah, never mind. Ugh. I was thinking like you yeah, only could buy it when once you get it type of thing. But all right, let's get moving. We got it's been a while since we've been here. Shame we can't bring anybody with us. We should give them some more pure water. Now you ordered online nuts and chocolate. Well, I hope you escalated it then to make sure that they give you either a refund or replacement. And instead paying like five dollars per item to be delivered. Yeah. Let me go ahead and grab the thing that looks like beer. So I can run without much worry. Man, has it been a long time since we've been here. You had your Girl Scout deliver it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we... We have not been back in a while, and you can see there's been some developments here. <laughs> Our water totally got uh, blasted around here. Jeez. So much so much to be done here, but you know what? This is our humble beginnings when we first started the game, and we didn't have much to worry about. Our crops were over here. We didn't do too much. Well, she's cooking up a storm still, but she's doing all the basic stuff. The great thing about this is if our main island gets full, we can always go back here and start building more. Like this is our bathing area and toilets. Oh, I just remembered something. You don't think you can do anything about it? I think you can. I, I do think you're able to just say like, um, excuse me, this is what happened. Hmm. Anyway, 
Let's go talk to Chance the dog. Woof, woof. And say, woof, woof, rah, woof, woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. Uh -huh. Somehow, Chance succeeds in getting her point across. It seems she wants a place where she and the other villagers can drink and collect clean water. Oh, really? If a certain builder could put together ten blocks of worth of water, a pair of pots, a chest, and a wash tub, it should create just the kind of watering hole she's after. Oh, we're getting little missions for even afterwards here. Okay. So we need a watering hole, huh? Cute doggy. Ten blocks of water like that. Well, first things first, I need to make something for this. And this is where all my junk is going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and take this. And kind of make a little pool for it. Because I want to leave some room here. Because like I said, things apparently got flooded as before. Well, we left it flooded, I think. There you go. See, now that looks nice. Alright, this one requires work, because it's going right into the farm here. Also, we got some mud over here. Ugh. Now, here's the thing. Like, the water's supposed to be dro dropping down off of this to make it look nice and pretty. Uh, hang on. Whoa! Because it's the world tree. Oh, hey! Oh, that looks actually really cool from the inside. Oh my goodness! I love it. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do... Can I... I thought that was the muddy water. Oh, that's not muddy water. Where's the muddy water coming from? If it's anywhere on the tree. Looks like it's only coming from the bottom. Hmm. Muddy water. I see now the water dipping in over here is not a big deal because we want this here because this is the sugar cane so let's go ahead and try to get all the mud parts out if I can all right mud has been evaporated from there Oh, I think I see what it is. I think it's one of the bottom things here. I got it. I got it. But yeah, my new room's coming along pretty nicely. We're trying to get me into my new room before before uh before uh, our Christmas party with the other side of the family. All right, let me try this. I have plowed fields here, so let's try this. Okay, a little better. You're back. What am I doing in game right now? Well, we were just given a mission by Chance the Dog from Furrowfield. Right now, I'm also trying to rid this place of muddy water, too. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. I had cereal not that long ago, so... <laughs> I'm a little bit, uh... Like, hiccupy. Alright, we did that. Now let's try this. Hmm, there's still muddy water coming. Maybe it's the flooring still. I gotta find where it's coming fr from here. Almost, come on, come on, creep. Oh, jeez. I think it's forming from something. It's gotta be. Alright, well anyway, here's what I gotta do first. We're not gonna go too crazy with the design here, but I do wanna make things make sense so that if we do decide to redesign this place, we're not gonna be, like, totally looking ugly. So I'm gonna first move this over by one. And then we're gonna smash the... Yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna smash this. 
I'm trying to make this look a little bit nicer. The hard part's getting the fencing that's underneath there, though. Alright, the plan was to have a little pool about, like, here? Can I... Will it work? No, 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 stop that. Uh, will it work like this, or do I have to move it in more? I might have to move that in more. Hmm. Mildly better. <laughs> and let, wait, wait, I got it. And then we do this. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Yourself. It's not gonna look great. Oh wait, unless I do it like this, maybe. Make it like a little square over square design. Feel free to give suggestions on how we could contain this, too. Let me see. Uh, let's try it down here. There's still some flooding from mud around, though. How's it going so far? Well, right now, we still can't get the mud problem out. Let's see. There's gotta be, like, a, a random rotten turf. Some <gasps> there it is, right there. That's the problem, turf. Okay, we got it now. Take a mud brick wall out. Take this. Hey, Cuppy, how you doing? Yep, swampy soil was the issue. You're doing good? I want to thank you for starting up my Discord. If anyone wants to wants to actually join Discord, hit exclamation mark Discord, and uh, you'll get a little bit of a... You'll get an invite to it. I haven't really done much with it yet, so don't really expect too much out of it, but it's it's there. Let me see. I made this like a little waterfall thing. Cuppy made it for us, though. So. Really? It's just going to be for updates for now? Yeah, it's not going to show up on the PS4, by the way. It's just going to be a little off like that. Alright, we got the water coming down this way. Let me try this. If I do that... Then do this. I want to try to not super drown this place. Nah, it's still heavy. I'm gonna have to cut it off at its source. Okay, there we go. We didn't need that extra pool there. Okay, that's gone. How about here now? Hmm, here it's going to overflow because of this. I mean, I don't mind it going into here too much, but it's because this is the uh, sugar canes and all. But damn, this is going to be tough. Well, we do have to make that watering hole still, too. Let me see... What would look good there? I know the fence is not going to keep it out. I think we have to, like, destroy part of it, too. Dang it. I don't have a followage command. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, this part's pretty soft. Oh, I don't need this here anymore. Good, good, good. Let me do it this way. But yeah, we need to make a watering hole next. So I'm thinking the watering hole is going to go right next to the the bell here. I also don't have alert command, even though there's something that says something when there's alert command when you use alert. I did that mainly for when an adventure potato swapped by. Where's Hulk at? 
Oh, um, he couldn't come with me here, unfortunately. Hulk is our golem, for those that don't know. And the one that I was smashing everything with. I just called him Smash, though, but yeah. But okay, we have a little water pool there. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Idea form. Hopefully it's a big brain moment and not a dumbass moment. We'll make this the watering hole. Okay. By the way, I'm stealing... I totally stole Big Brain Moment from uh, both Jacksepticeye and um, Markiplier. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get rid of this ugly Dolomite. Go ahead and do that. I still need to figure out something to do with that. I really don't want to move things around, but I'm probably going to end up having to. But okay, this will be our watering hole. So, let's see. I need to do... I could make it a fence, too, come to think of it. But it needs a pot. Crap, I gotta find the dog. Oh, everyone's in there, all nice and comfy cozy. Alright, since I can't find the dog, let's just make this easier. There you go. Everyone, wake up! Alright, woof, 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 It seems she wants a place where she and the other villagers can drink and collect clean water. Alright, we need ten blocks worth of water. Got it. Two pots, a chest, and a wash tub. Okay. Let's do that. Do I have some pots already? Yes, I do! Two pots, chest, and a wash tub, I think it said? Do I have one of those already? I don't think so. I have a bat basic bathtub, but that's it. Alright, doesn't look like I, ha I have one. Let's go build one. Where did I end up putting my building station, anyway? Or did I end up breaking it and bringing it with me because I was thinking I wouldn't have another one? I think that's what ended up happening. <laughs> oh no, I moved it over here. Okay, good. Let's go find that. Wash tub or basic bath? No, it's a wash tub. Alright, we'll put you two here, you here, and you there. And then we gotta make it into a room. What kind of walls should we use to make a watering hole? We probably just could use fences, actually. The fence idea works, I think. We'll just kind of extend it over a little bit. Actually, you know what? I think I'll do it like this. I can't believe we had a mission from over here like this. And I'll put you about here. And... Oh yeah, you can't lift a chest. You always have to smashy smashy. Also, those effects are going to really drive me nuts. Sorry, that did not help. Do do no 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 stop it. And then we need uh, the doors. And I do have a couple of those left over. Okay, we put this probably like right here and here. Does it need a light? Small watering hole. Yay! We did it! We're doing things from way back um, when we don't even need to be doing this. 
It actually works too with the way the world, the tree is here. Hmm. I'm actually kind of happy with that. How you doing? How you doing, Chance? How you doing? She wants a place where she and the others can get drink collect clean water. We already did it. Do we have ten blocks worth? You know what? Hang on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, we should. Did, it feels like it's slightly off now. Hmm. I'm willing to extend it a little bit. Let's go one extra row over. Uh, stop that. And then just do little bits here. Or is she never going to end, end her... Uh, is that still not enough, maybe? Natural watering hole? Maybe I have to go a little deeper, too? I don't know. It isn't a quest, it's just a tutorial for how you learn how to make a watering hole. Oh, okay. Here I'm going crazy here. Thank you, ugly monster face, I appreciate that. In that case, now let's... I found the Rosmere. Oh! Someone told me to do this, but... Uh, what happened? Scarcy, you used the Rosmere to cure me of my curse! This is the voice I gave her before, so, as a dog... What do you mean, who I am I? It's me, Chance, your faithful friend! How could you forget me after all we've been to through together? The children of Hargon put me under that horrible curse a long, long ago, and I've been a dog ever since. Thank you so much for turning me back into a girl. <laughs> Remember when you, Malroth, and I splashed around in furrowfield bogs searching for seeds? <laughs> what fun we had. Now that I'm human again, I can live alongside you just like everyone else. Obviously the name you gave me isn't my real one, but I like it so much, I think I'll stick with it. You can keep calling me Chance, same as always. Still, I'd rather you didn't remind me of all the things I did when I was a dog. I'm really rather embarrassed about it. Do you want to join me back at my place, or are you going to stay here? Because I'd be fine with taking her with us. Also, while I'm thinking of it... Uh, grassy Earth or Lime Grassy Earth? We'll go with Grassy Earth. We're going to do... We're going to... Since I can do it and I'm here... There you go. I can kind of fix things up a little. Alright, so now all we have left is to figure out this water issue here. I'm totally going to have to move the sugar canes. It doesn't have to be this big, I guess. What the hell? Why, why are there two chests in here? Oh, this chest was for the other thing, I think. Okay. I'm just going to do that do this because I want to when I if I eventually do come back here, I want to make sure everything's looking nice. Let me see. Uh yeah, we can get rid of those. So, I think what we're going to do is basically shorten this up to here. Which means Oh, jeez. Stupid wooden fencing. I do want to keep the wooden fencing there. I like the look of that. It does mean I'm going to have to move the chest over there anyway, though. I wonder if there's anyone else I should use the mirror on. Let me know, ugly monster face, if there's anything that comes up. Let's see, I do want to also grab that back. We'll do this and this. Nobody else? Okay. Thanks for the heads up, then. I don't remember who told me about putting this back. I think it might have been Mark told me, telling me, hey, if you find the Rosmere, go back to Furrowfield and check it on the dog, you'll get a surprise. I figured out what basically was going to happen, but I was... 
I liked... It was a nice little pleasant surprise either way. Oh yeah, these guys are dying because there's no water. Alright, we're going to go ahead and break this up. Oh, that friggin' effect is bothering me. Let's try that. Alright, less of an effect. Ugh, still got a bit of one. You have anything else to say? Woof, woof, woof! Eat! Oh, goodness, how mortifying! I spent so long as a dog, I sometimes forget I've been turned back into a human. I remember the day it all began. I was so close to starving, so I stole one of the brainy bad boon's bananas. And Lassie caught me and worked his magic. Apparently, I'm not the first person to be so transformed by Hargon's minions. It seems they have a taste for turning dazzling damsels into dogs. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, how is Malroth? And how are the other Furrowfieldians? Are Rosie and Bonanza and Perry all well? I'd love to travel to your island one day and see everyone again. But perhaps it would be best to wait until I've got rid of my all my the silly habits I picked up as a dog. Once I'm fully human again, please invite me over. Do I ever get a chance to? I have a feeling it's no, but it's a nice thought. I'll take that too. I'm okay with you telling me that, by the way. Alright, take this. We're gonna go ahead and just basically put all this stuff away. Keep the seedlings, though, and put that away. And there you go. Anything else? Yes. Smashy, smashy. Did I put the chest over there? I did not. I don't need to, though. Okay, I wasn't sure about... Well, yeah, yes, eventually you can have her on your island. Okay, thank you. Good to know. I'm happy just knowing that. Alright, we're going to... Dude, don't, don't get too busy, man. What we're going to do is make it like this. We gotta fill this all in. I'm gonna have to move things upward. Um, where are my wooden steps? There they are. I think we're gonna have it whoops, about here. We're gonna move the door over. That's basically what we're doing. This should be adjusting a little bit. What? Right now they're treating this as a watering hole. Oh. Okay, that's filled in. We still have a problem with that, but we'll, we'll fix it in post, I guess you could call it. Oh wait, I wanted to actually do it this way. We're gonna put the stairs down, we're gonna put the stairs here, and then put the door right there. Wait, does that make sense? No. Right there. And then you surround it with like this. This is a natural field. This is also a different natural field, right? Right? Let me find out. Did I do it right? This should go. That's a tiny room and that's a large field. Okay. This really shouldn't be a tiny room, but whatever. <laughs> no, no, stop it. Wrong one. I'm gonna keep this there, but we're gonna go ahead and, what the? <laughs> there was a random cabbage there. <laughs> it's like, uh, no guys, that's not where it goes. Here you go. Okay. 
Yeah, you, you guys don't need that much sugar anyway. All right, now we got to figure out what to do about the water. Hmm. If I put it here, it's going to block off stuff. Oh, you know what? I'll do what I did with the watering hole a little bit. We'll just kind of dig down. Actually, that's perfect. A little spring, really. Can I get away with putting something here? You know what? I think that works. It's not super pretty, but it's okay. And you know what? To make it a little look look a little nicer, we'll even put little a little fence around it. Nope, stop it. Also, more of a way of caution, if anything. If I could put fish in there or something, that would be even better than it could be like a fishing hole. But, okay. I think I made this look better now. And we even did the thing with the, uh... Let me see. Oh, I do have to put more water over here. Hang on. And I even did the thing with our, with our dog there, so I'm happy with that. If I stay here too long, I'm going to totally start beautifying it like I did with my island, though, and that's something I really should not be doing. Like, I want to get rid of that, I want to get rid of this. It's like, come on, be uniform, damn it. And put that there to make it a little more even. Get rid of you. Put stairs here. There you go. Alright, and I could change this mud hole into fresh water, too. Let me see if I could do that first. I could probably just plug it up, right? There you go. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. You guys gonna go away? There you go, good. Now let's go ahead and get the fresh water, the never-ending fresh water here. And let's fill it up. Perfect. Alright, I feel better now. <laughs> And then I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I am getting carried away. I'm getting carried away. Stop me, stop me, stop me. We're hitting the hour mark, so we want to go ahead and start progressing the plot. This was a little fun diversion, though, looking back and seeing how things have changed and all. But, uh, yeah, I'm totally getting carried away. Oh, that tree looks great. All right, anyway. Is this the... That's the cabin. Where's the dock? There you go. All right, time to head back. Yep, let's do it. I wonder if I brought Malroth with me, you know, before he got pissed off at me. Oh no, I couldn't. I couldn't have because uh, by the time we got the Rawls mirror, he was already mad at me, so never mind. I was going to say if there was any different dialogue we would get. Like, maybe Malroth was going to, what the? <laughs> you know? Castle Bridge. Oh, that looks nice. The castle. The br that We've seen that. Bridge Village. Alright, this looks nice. A really nice water village. Looks like Dougie's been waiting for me. Alright. Let's finally go over there, but I'm going to take my damn time again there. It's kind of fun just to travel in air, so... 
We're gonna talk to the big cheese himself, the guy that farts our mini metals. I am sad that I can't bring villagers from here to other areas, but I guess I understand. Imagine bring Smash the Golem over there. Oh, that'd be great. Hmm. We got a little tower thing going there. Anything else? Oh, and that little thing that I don't really pay attention to. He told me to come alone, but screw that. I'm bringing my buds here. Let's give him mini metals first. Yes, it's good to know. You swap them for treasures. This is normal. 17 mini metals. You give me a witch's hat. Okay. 58 is a blockhead. <laughs> 62, red rose. 65, you'll teach me to make liquid metal shields. Hell yeah. 68. Make it to 70. Recipe for moonbrook frocks. Eh, that's whatever to me. But okay, let's take a look at our new stuff before I continue the plot here. Liquid metal shield. It's only 40 defense. Compared to what? 24. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm wrong. <laughs> that defense is very good. Alright, let's talk to him. Oh, 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 now that you've finished all the targets on the blue stone tablet, the whole island is blessed with the power of building. And that isn't all, my boy. My memories have finally come flooding back to me. Thank you for putting up with all my selfish requests up to now. I think you've earned a full explanation. Sounds like an info dump, guys. Let's get ready. And the citizens of this island will need to put their heads together and decide what they want to do from here on out. But there'll be plenty of time for all that later. Right now, you need to put the finishing touch on this island. There's one final thing that needs building. Oh, oh, not yet. No info dump yet. Once that's done, I'll sit you down and tell you everything. Don't make any plans. It'll take at least three days to go over it all. Okay. Hmm. What do we got? You've done it! The Earl of Awakening is filled with power of creation. I'm proud as punch. What are you... What? I guess I did it already and I didn't realize. Of course, a builder's work is never done. There's always something that needs doing. But it's a good to stop now and then and appreciate your work. And now is as good time as any. I am about to sneeze. Give me one moment. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> the island is thriving. It's bubbling with building power. But there is one last thing it needs. A builder's banner. Oh, okay. Follow me. I'll explain at the top. And thank you, Ugly Monster Face. I'm guessing it's going to be right up here, huh? Over here. Yeah, I'm here. Apparently flying over him doesn't count. Fine. <laughs> he didn't like me out running, outpacing him, I guess. You know, let me clean this up a little. I may as well. I'm sure this is going to be part of it anyway, cleaning up this island and all. I really was. Ex I'm really expecting something sinister to happen eventually, though. Like, I think it's going to be him. This island needs a builder's banner, a flag that marks it out as paradise for builders all over the world. I'm sorry, the world over. Close enough. And as a resident builder, it's up to you to decide on the design for the emblem. Just fill the square you see before you with colored blocks, and the design you've drawn will be transferred directly to the flag. Remember, a builder's banner is like any fl any other flag. It tells you tells people what the island stands for, and the more eye-catching it is, the better. Here, you'll need these. Oh god, how much are you going to fill my inventory? Oh, a color wheel! And chalk. Oh, chalk. This is where the chalk comes in. Yes! Use the color wheel to build blocks in whatever color you like. Then plonk them down on this square section to, to draw your design. The north side will be the top. Okay. Don't fret too much about making it perfect. You can always change it later. And if you're at a complete loss about what to draw, don't worry. I have an idea of my own. What do you say? Would you like to see a sample? 
Sure, let's take a look. It'd be my pleasure. This is my own design and a smashing one it is too. Oh, a hammer. Okay. You can follow this blueprint exactly or whip up your own design to decorate the builder's banner. It's up to you. Hmm. It's the top of my uh, making. You can do colored blocks to design your very own flag. It is a special surprise in store if you do. Alright. Well, first things first I'm going to do, though, is clear some inventory space. You too, sugarcane. And we're going to do... Let's see. Well, I got a lot of chalk. I'm going to make a little space here for the wheel. So let's go do that. I know I don't need all this chalk, by the way. Hmm. What to make? I do like that we can make all these blocks again. Oh, this is for the one that they're talking about, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. You know, this is why I don't have icons on my Twitch channel here. I could never decide what the hell to make. I have some rough ideas, but it's just like, uh, I don't know. Hmm. I got an idea, though. Ugly monster face, what did you make? Did you just follow what he gave you? All right, I think, uh, I don't know how this will translate, but I'm going to make my outline here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do this. And we have two spaces there. Okay. You just made a face. You weren't. It wasn't planned. You just turned out what it was. Okay. All right. This is our outline. Oh wait. You know. Screw it. to do this. I realized that, you know, it, this thing is even, so I may as well make it all this far in. All right. What I essentially want to do is make, like, a shield in a way, but... I'm making it a square shield because I don't think I could accurately show a uh, a regular type of sh like you know like this more like oval or triangular type of shields. So I figured you know a nice square shield would do it, which means I'm gonna need some brown. Uh, it's gold, beige. We don't have brown. Do I have to use the color blocks? Could I use like a uh, Something else? I mean, I guess I'll do this. Let's see. I guess that works? I kind of wanted a darker color. I was thinking of using, like, the garbage uh, blocks, really. You have to use those, unfortunately? Dang it. Because this would have been perfect for, like, the garbage blocks. Like, the Clodstone actually is a perfect dark brown that I was thinking of. Yeah, there's just orange instead. But okay, so that's like the cover over. What we want to do now is what color? Oh, wait, no, no, we have a little bit more. The very center. Shoot. I can't tell what the center is. 
is that centered? Four and four and four and four. Okay, I did get the center. Yeah, it needs darker colors. This is gonna look bad. Hi, Marks. And yes, finally. I want dark colors, and it only gives me that. All right, you know what? Let's do a quick test here. Do you think the gold is much better? Like, if that was in the center instead. I mean, it's a little darker. It's not very dark still, though. Damn it, game. I was going to go for an earthy, dark green, and dark brown type of look. Hmm. Silver? Eh. Well, let's go with the green. My idea was this. Making a shield, but I'm not going to, like, go completely like that. Like, what, how you would expect. This just feels like I'm messing around with MS Paint right now. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Okay, we got that. MS blocks, exactly. <laughs> and then I wanted, I just wanted dark colors. Oh wait, this is where the silver actually comes in handy. But I'm glad I'm using up these chalk at least. This chalk at least. Now here's the question. Uh, well, not a question. I just gotta see how it looks first. Ah, uh, the silver doesn't look that good. It just looks white. Ugh. I hate these blocks already. I wanted a darker color. It, it, that is not the color described on our inventory here. Let's, oh, okay. I'm going to have to go gray. Let's see the difference here. Okay, that's better. That actually... That actually looks silver. Hmm, this is going to be a pain in the ass if I keep using that. It's funny, the silver block does not look silver. You know, I used to be pretty decent at 8-bit art, but I had guides. I don't really have a guide. I don't want to pull it up right now, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, Marks, what did you do for your flag? Did you just kind of do whatever? You did... Gotcha. Oh, so you did a mess. See, if we had a brown, this would look better. Right now, it looks... There we go. <laughs> you hear me okay now? Okay. But yeah, alright. So, yeah, this looks like crap. Like, if this was darker brown, it'd at least look okay. This is just... This is just awful. Like, even the clod stone, I think, would actually look better. I know it's not going to let me. I know you said you have to use those colors, but I just want to see for myself here.
Like, that dark brown, even though the turf color looks a little off, that color would have been better, I feel. Uh. Anyway, let's just do it and care about it later, I guess. Again, this is supposed to be a shield of sorts. And now it just looks like whatever, I threw up on it or something. Alright, I'm actually going to do some one thing different here. Let's surround it with the, the gray instead, and then put green in the center. I swear, it will, I won't do any more remakes after this on stream anyway. If I can figure something else out later, I'll do it off stream and uh, show you the results afterwards. For now, this is what we're doing. I also hope we don't have to fill in every square because that's not my plan. <laughs> I do? Oh, fuck you, game. Taking something that's supposed to be nice, creative, and fun. And doing that to me. You have to. I want to give it a middle finger instead. Oh, that'd be a perfect flag, a middle finger. <laughs> I'm sure that won't get me, you know, banned online. Okay, this actually does look a little bit better. But now it just looks like a generic, uh... Very generic MS Paint art. Yeah, it looks like a target. <laughs> oh well. That's what we're gonna do. We're, 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 we're off-brand target, guys. Since I have to fill it in, we're just use black. <sighs> All right, well, this is another thing we can go ahead and uh, chalk up to the game being kind of meh about. I hope I gotta do more. There's only a couple of moments where I really felt that, though. Hey, there's a ghost hanging out over there. Hang on. Just to take a break here. Uh... Ghosts, can we recruit them? We've recruited one in Furrowfield. No, you can't? Oh. I really wanted a ghost. It'd be the ghost with the most, you know? Oomts, oomts. You go away. Stop encroaching on our turf. There. There we go. My super awesome, completely hard, hard to make emblem is ready. Ugh. Game, you make me hate you at this moment. Oh, I see you finished designing the emblem for your builder's banner. Yeah, sure, we'll call it finished. Not bad. Not bad at all. Are you happy to put this on your flag? Default no, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna say yes to shut him up. Oh, good to hear. Then let's transfer to the banner and create a new national flag for your builder's kingdom. I can always change it again, so whatever. You know? Oh, that looks terrible! What the hell? Why? They couldn't even center it. They just kind of shoved it over in the side. I mean, I get it's supposed to be hung uh, horizontally and all, but ugh. They won't let me register a deer to my horse stable. <laughs> the crimes, man. 
<laughs> terrific work, Scarcy. The design looks terrific. All that is left is to plant that banner in a place where everyone can see it. Once you do that, your kingdom will be well and truly complete. Yeah, that does suck, doesn't it? I know the perfect place. I'll see you there. You tried to do that too? Mm. Oh, man. Oh. He wants me to follow him. Right here? Wait, really? Right here. Okay. Right against the wall. And everybody joins in. Uh, not everybody. A lot of people join in. The Isle Awakening becomes the Kingdom of Scorsi. Scarcy. I kind of want to rebuild this temple now. Super happy music too. <laughs> okay. Super clapping for me. Yay. Yeah, go right through that. All right, now that we did that, who cares? Do you guys have anything new to say about this? Get you, Jimmy. Oh, no, you're just saying the same thing from before. If you choose to continue, you will temporarily be unable to engage in online play, travel to other islands, or exchange mini medals. Do you wish to continue? You're breaking the fourth wall, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue. Great work, my boy. The banner of Scarcy looks absolutely fantastic. And now, all the preparations are finally in order. I'm sure he's about to do his his heel face turn now. He's going to be like, I was working for the bad guy the whole time. Can we get some Fs in chat? I guess you know what's coming. And I think this is what's going to come too. Is We just did this and now he's going to say like, we did everything we can do. So now we can break your hope and rebuild all over again. Wow, where in the world did you get that flag from? It's incredible. Wow. Thank you. I didn't really put much thought into it. <laughs> it's filling me with power. I feel more builderly than I ever felt before. It's impressive indeed. I take it that this is to symbolize the island attaining the pinnacle of a building of building prowess. I think it's way smart. It suits Scarcy's Island perfectly. No wait, it ain't just Scarcy's Island and no more. It belongs to all of us. Just when I thought I had almost all my, my fill of building, you go and stroke the fires of creation that burn within us into the blazing inferno. You know, I've missed put doing Bonanza. He's overly dramatic. <laughs> There's no denying it, Scarcy. You're the best builder in the whole wide world. Clap, clap, clap. Come on, Dougie, say something for me. I want to be talking like Dougie. What, what, what's going on? Who turned out the lights? Dun, dun, dun! Why do you hear boss music? Exactly. Uh oh, I think Malroth has uh, constipation, guys. Someone get him some fiber. M Malroth, what's happened to you? Alright, so the Harry Hermit wasn't going to betray us this whole time? Dixon Spring. Scarcy, when did you build that? Flag. Mara? Mara, are you alright? Scarcy, please. I need you to. to. Mara? Dun 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 dun. Slain by the science of Erdrick, the high priest Hargon offered up his soul that almighty Mara might be reborn. It's slow text guy, guys. The, mo the evilest thing in this game is the fact that he is slow doing this so slowly. <laughs> dun dun. Dun dun. Ever since that moment, I have lain dormant within him, biding my time. There should be like some really dramatic music playing here, but I guess this is atmospheric.
Who would have thought that Malroth, our Malroth, was Malroth, the god of destruction? I am shocked! I have watched over his every move, and the builders too. Slow... <laughs> exactly, Marks. Oh, it's funny. It's a joke, everyone. <laughs> this world of nothingness is now filled with the power of creation. The stage is finally set. Almighty Hall Malroth's awakening is at hand. Maybe I should be doing his voice in a robot voice because he's being controlled. I don't know. Hmm. And he... Dies. Oh, hi, Hargon. I do like your design. <laughs> None can escape their fate. Neither men nor monsters nor even gods. The master of destructions will bring an end to all. You're... you're Hargon. Hargon? But wasn't... isn't he supposed to be dead? Oh, look, I love the little monsters that are actually, you know, reacting too. Like, look at the saber cub. Like, huh? <laughs> oh, that's cute, actually. <laughs> yes, in the real world, I am dead. But in this illusory world of my own making, I am very much alive. Well, what do you mean? I mean exactly what I say. This world is nothing more than an illusion. An unreal realm in which I sealed away Malroth's soul after the Scion succeeded in slaying him. But now, his reawakening is at hand. He is ready to be reborn once more as the master of destruction. Oh, well, that saber cub's like ready to be like, I don't think so here. I love it. Can it really be true? Our world, our lives, are an illusion? Indeed, I have originally created this world of illusion to vex and befuddle the signs of Erdrick. No place. <laughs> No blade of grass, nor pinch of soil, nor any pathetic human, yourselves included, truly exists. Everything you see is but a figment of my imagination. I like how the, our chimera, cheek of the chimera there, is just kind of like pecking him in the back, like, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> but like, that can't be true. Oh, this dream should have died with me. It has persisted long after my demise. Longer than I have ever thought possible. I always thought it was strange that the children of Hargon were still so powerful here. They should have fallen apart after the leader died. But in this world, he never really did. Alas, in the real world, I was not so fortunate. The detestable heroes escaped my illusion and proceeded to murder me. Then Malroth, in cold blood. They were stopping you. <laughs> they weren't murdering you, they were stopping you. But here, my spirit survives, as did the Lord and Master of Destruction himself. And so, it seems, does the power of creation, worthless though it may be. <laughs> you call this a, the Kingdom of Scarcity? Pah! It is nothing more than a Kingdom of Lies. And I suppose this is your nation's flag. <laughs> Never has more hideous sight of salt in my eyes. You know what, Hargon? That is very fair. You know, I agree with you on that. Why don't we just stop everything and let's redesign the flag together. I actually wouldn't mind using your emblem for that. That actually is kind of cool. You know, let's make this do a peaceful thing here. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's all just work together, make a nice emblem, and then we'll do it. <laughs> yes, let's do it, Mark. Exactly. Simple solution. It's obviously the main issue Hargon has. <laughs> Behold, Builder. Your fantasy of rallying allies to your side and saving the world are simply that. Fantasies. Technically, and aren't I a fantasy too, then? I've had just not about enough of this. Give Malra back, you beastly bully. What do you plan on doing with him anyway? No, you're real. Oh, I'm real. Really? Malra. That's almighty Malroth, lord and master of destruction to you, ungracious worms. Esther, Oka, okay. goddess, save us. Take this, you rotting rotter. Whoa, fairy hermit. Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> so this is what beca- So this is what became of the ancient builder. Reduced to manipulating humans to achieve your ends. So he's the original builder. Ooh, remember the prologue? Oh, good, good observation, Marx. <laughs> it's been a long time, Marx, so I kind of forgotten, but you're right. Be gone. No! Oh. Guys, we're not going to have any more mini medals shot out for us. You're on a boat in real life in Cantlin. There is no Cantlin in here. Hey, Marks, that means... What about... Lulu was on that boat, too, and a couple other people, but only Lulu and I survived, so to speak. You know, don't, don't, don't tell me, Marks, if they're going to tell me, actually, so don't worry about it. St I want you to stop from there, though. Only explain stuff that isn't going to be explained, you know? <laughs> Hear me, pathetic wretches. Grovel before your creator. Cower before me and be spared my wrath. It is time. When almighty Malroth awakens, he shall tear this illusion to pieces and return the real world to bring about its glorious destruction. Yo, is that Mars? <laughs> wow, you're right. Holy shit. <laughs> Come, Maroth, let us away. Be reborn as the mighty master of destruction once again, and bring ruin to the world. It is your destiny. I guess they're going to Mars, guys. Oh, that was a good laugh. What, what are we going to do, Scarcy? What are we going to do? Poor Maroth, and the poor Harry Hermit, too. All right, Lulu, keep your hair on. It ain't like you to get your knickers in a knot like this. Back in Mainbrook, I heard tell that this world was not but a lie, a mere illusion. I knew not what to make of, of those words at the time. But if it's true, then what are we? You just had to make a joke about our favorite mini metal starter at his death. I, hey, I had to, man. You, you you really have to. That's how I deal with sad moments anyway. Though I'm honestly not too sad because he annoyed me at times. And also I was building up in my mind that he was the traitor all along, but he obviously isn't. But still, you know. <laughs> Cue the Marachi band when he dies. <laughs> with a yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, right? All right, all right. I, I'm sorry. This is kind of ruining some of the mood here. So, Then what are we? Were we all just dreamed up by Hagon? I don't know about that. I don't reckon I'm an illusion, but that's just what an illusion would think. Brimneck, maybe it's true. Hmm. Oh, that I am to admit it. We have no way of proving our reality is truly real, or if it is merely a dream. Yes, and so what? You can save your philosophies in for later. That good for nothing, Buck, Nab, Nab, Malroth. We gotta get him back. But if it is true what Hagen said, and Moth really is the master of destruction, then... Cry. Everybody cries. Who cares if he is? And I don't care if we're all dreams or little illusions or any other nonsense either. I'm not going to let that rotter get away with this. He barges onto our island. And then I burp, and then scares the living daylights out of us, makes fun of Scarcy's flag, and then does unspeakable things to Maroth and the Harry Herman. Oh my. This just got into, this got, just became Dragon Quest Builder's SVU. Well, if that horrible, creepy villain thinks we're going to take this line down, he's got another thing coming. Hmm? What's that? There's something there where the Harry Herman always used to stand. Hey, wanna get the, wanna get that there, uh, Saber Cub? Okay. Build your soul. Hey, we can build a soul, guys. <laughs> Are we God? <laughs> we can build souls now. <laughs> Let's see what everyone said. Uh, no, damn it! What was it? Perhaps the Harry Hermit left it here for us. Maybe he can help us in some way. 
But no matter how shiny it is, I don't know how it could help us find Mara, let alone rescue him and bring him home. Final chapter. Mega meta game. <laughs> yeah. What? What in the world? It's a pizza. Nah, I'm just kidding. I can feel the same evil energy emanating from that vortex as when Hargan was here. It must be a portal to wherever he took Mara. You know what that means, Scotty. You have to dive in there, defeat Hargan, and bring Mara back. He's the only one who can do it. Ah, yes, my favorite kind of pizza. Poor Mara. It must have been so hard for him. None of us realized what the weight he was secretly struggling with. He always tried to be the strong one, the one we could all rely on. But when things got to be too much for him, he'd nobody turn to for, to turn to for help. I saw how much he was suffering, but there was nothing I could do for him. What about you, Scarcy? Surely you don't want to leave it like this. There's still time to make it up with him. There's still a chance to save your friend. So what do you say, Scarcy? Will you save Maroth? No. Now is not the time for jokes, Scarcy. I don't want to get cross with you. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yes. I knew you'd agree. You're just not the type to abandon a f his friend in, in his hour of need. Oh, Scarcy. I... That is, we... Well... It looks like your friends have something to say to you, Scarcy. Be sure to talk to them all before you head off. Rosie? Do you think it's true, what Hargan said about us all being illusions? And what of this business with Maroth being the master of destruction? If that were true, he'd make, he'd make you best mate with a god. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I'll bury you, what the hell. Of course, same applies to all of us too. We're all his friends, every blimmin' one of us. And I ain't got no a problem with that. I'm happy to be the master of destruction's mate. You can tell him that for me, Scotty. Listen, my boy, there is nothing to be gained from fetching over what might become of us. What's important now is that you find Maroth and bring him back safely. And you make Hargon regret a kidnapping him while you're at it. Good luck, Scar- Good luck, Scarcy. We're all counting on you. Whatever horrible monsters might stand in your way, I know that everything you've done for us, all those memories, and all that experience will help you pull through. And I'm not just talking about the day tree. The others told me about Goldie Rocks and the Kazapo Cannon, too. If you can do all that, you can do anything. Just remember that we'll all be right here, cheering for you on, cheering you on, and waiting for you both to come back safely. I have questions before I leave, but I am going to talk to everyone first. You're heading off then, Scotty. To be honest, all that talk about illusions and awakening went over, over my head. But if it's one thing I do know, it's that look in your eye right now. There ain't nothing that anyone here can do to stop you diving into that portal after tomorrow. All that guff about Argon and his imagination, it don't even come into it. He just want to save your mate, right? Do right, do right he does. You can build a wall over our eyes, Scossy. We know what you like to the backs of our biceps. After all, we're the dream team, ain't it? And that means more off too. Nothing ever got to tear us apart. Not even going to make... Not even some mad battered buck. Wow, that's these are tongue twisters, jeez. Still, I don't like the look of that scar one bit. What if Argon's right? What if the world really is gonna fade away? We may not have long left. But whatever happens, we're gonna be here when you get back. I swear I'll meet Dad's life. Take care out there, won't ya? And bring Maroth back. Speaking of your dad. Your, your world's just an illusion. That's got to be a load of old cobblers, right, Scorsi? The world can't be ending. I haven't finished me reps yet. Say it ain't so, Scorsi. Say it ain't so. Blimey, Scorsi. What's going on? What's going to happen to us? What's going to happen to Malroth? Oh, Brittany. Oh, God. I can never say her thing. Let me see. Hey, I was just, like, pulling a leg about the world being fake. But, Bill Putley, why do you take Malroth? Oh, God. <coughs> God, I gotta clear my throat. This is too many voices. Melro was such a good friend to us. Was he really the master of destruction all this time? So that was the inf infamous Argon. Every bit as ghastly as the rumors suggested. 
But what he said about our world is far more horrific. Tazan, please save our cute dog lover, muscular bodybuilder, and most bravest soldier husband to Lulu. <laughs> Thank you, Lodo. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Marmoth was such a kind and gentle soul. It would seem we have Hargon to, bl to blame for the change that came over him. So the high priest finally reveals himself. I felt an overwhelming evil flowing from him, despite his non-corporal nature. Or perhaps because of it. So Hargon finally shoes up. Alas, though I long to strike the cat down, I found myself frozen in with fear, unable to move a muscle. Oh yes, Esther is the only lover that dare to follow, follow him. <laughs> You're going then. It pains me to admit it, but I fear that the Hargon's claim to, that this world is a lie is no mere fabrication. My time at Moonbrook made me suspect as much as myself. Indeed, after our experience in Maidenhall Castle, it's really difficult to deny. The view looking out over our Landrock is proof alone. I feel responsible, Scarcy, for what happened between you and Malroth. I feel for wedge between you. I cannot stand to see things end like this. It simply won't do. Please find Malroth and bring him back safely. <sighs> My throat, sorry. <clears throat> Malroth, master of destruction. Verily, back in Moonbrook, he fought like a man possessed, like a beast, like the incarnation of destruction itself. And yet, he had a kind of heart. I'm sure that this will never change, whatever may befall him. I very much once wished to dive in that portal with you, Scarcy. But from the moment Hawkeye appeared before us, I felt ill at ease in my own skin. Mayhap we have already begun to fade away. It shames me to have to rely on you to the very end, but it is... For you, and for you alone, I lay to lay Hargon low, and save your friend. I know you shall succeed. You've spoken with everyone, then? I don't know what's waiting for you on the other side of that portal. I don't even know for certain if you'll make it back in one piece. And chances are you won't be able to take much in the way of materials with you. That was my question. But you're still going to go, aren't you, Scarcy? Your mind's made up. Just make sure that you're prepared before you take the plunge. Once you're ready, all that's left is to step up to the portal and jump in. Alright, time for my ultimate question here. What are the limits to what I can bring here? Blueprint for a fashionable plan. Okay, yeah, we have that. Um, like, can I bring how can I bring anything like in my regular inventory at least? Like food or whatever? Your tools, weapons, armors, and builder soil. Okay, so nothing generic. I can't bring food. I can't bring, um, I can't bring anything else. Absolutely nothing except equipment. In that case, we have one more trip to make. Make sure to equip the very best possible items. Here's a question. What do you think is, is best in terms of one of two items here? A trip to the flag? I was thinking like of uh, either having the falcon sword with me or the flame sword because I can't make um, the uh, the better flame sword. Is God it needs a makeover. <laughs> yeah, obviously that's the main reason that Malroth did all this. That flag was just too horrendous. Oh, obviously we should... Oh, fur coat's 54 defense. Holy shit. Really? I'm, I'm shocked. 56 as well. That's why he said, when did you place that flag? <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it's, hor it's horrendous, Scarcy. Why the fuck would you make that? That is terrible. <laughs> That's 48. Yeah, I can't make the... Uh... Aurora Blade, because I don't have enough Mithril. Because that seems like the best sword to have. But here's a question again. Should I do Falcon Sword, or should I do the Flame Sword? The Flame Sword's a little more reliable for heavy defense people, but uh, the Falcon Sword has better DPS probably overall. 
but unless they have high defense, then, uh, yeah, you know, mm, don't know. Holy hawk seed. Oh, hawk flowers. Right. I forgot about these. I guess I'll put one there. Sorry, this is just literally me just realizing stuff, so... Like, what weapons did you guys bring when you did this? <laughs> you forgot those sword stats. Yeah, Falcon Sword is weak, but hits twice. And this we need a steel broadsword, and then we can make just the fire blade. And I assume I can't just have the equipment, like, you know, sitting somewhere. It has to be equipped, you know, so... An exotic look for the fabulous beast. I think I'm gonna go with the fur coat because that's better defense. Oh, I need one more silvery sludge. Darn it, I can't make the ultimate shield. Take the new magic sword? I can't do it, I don't have enough mithril. Unless you know where mithril is. I can't take the Aurora Blade. I need two more Mithril. The Steel Broadsword is not a big deal. Explorer Shore? Do you know which one? Because <laughs> I'll make a quick stop there before we do it. But yeah, I think the Fur Coat's going to be what we take here. Oh, it's too late to go get the Slime. Sunny Sands? But okay, also, I'm going to die this. <laughs> Look at him, that's ridiculous. Blue or green? Make a poison needle? I have a poison needle. For the shore, I assume. We're gonna go green. <laughs> he looks like an Eskimo! Hang on, let me go check the stats here. Forge deep in the... It's 56 defense versus 56 defense, so... Yeah, uh, you can kill middle battle. 54. 56. It's two defense difference. Hmm. But okay, hang on a second. Okay, stop with the description, please. Thank you. Oh, I know where I dropped them off, too. Hang on. I like this, though. This looks... This actually looks kind of cute. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to go ahead... We gotta go over to Scarlet Sands first. The metal slimes only show up at night, right? But I have to go here to pick up my stuff. Oh, do you have anything to say, McGrog? Hold on a minute. What's going on? What's all this nonsense about Malroth being master destruction? But I dropped off my stuff over here. I'm taking that back. No, it shows only once a day? Hmm. Wait, hang on. It's not in this one. Here it is. Poison needle and all my old equipment here. Alright, so we gotta go to Sunny Sands. Uh, wait, can I go to Sunny Sands? I actually don't know. We're gonna try anyway. Worst case scenario. Jimmy Timbers got this. You're not planning to go sail on a time like this, are you? You don't sit right with me, but I'll weigh anchor if you need me to. So we need to go to see the word. But this is Sunny Sands for not just minute metals, but we also want to get the, uh... We also want to go ahead and get ourselves the, uh... Mithril. We need two more Mithril. Oh, where's our... Where's our buddies? Uh, they're, they're gonna take a while, because they're gonna try to travel here, and then they're just gonna warp here, right? 
I'm looking all fat, super happy and fashionable. Oh, I can't take uh, Dougie with me. It's just going to be the two monsters with me. I should have brought the golem. Oh, well. Oh, I definitely should have brought the golem. I wish I could use the flute for this part here. But yeah, yeah right now we're just going to be preparing, guys. Because we it sounds like we really want to get everything we can. Let the adventure begin. I still have my poison needle. Let's go skip across the water. Nine hundred ninety nine attack, nine hundred ninety nine defense. Obviously. All right. Um, to your recollection, do you recall uh, the rough areas for Mithril? Is it like in those little underground chambers, or is it in in mountains? Very deep down. Okay. Oh, this looks nicer. Jeez, I definitely should have. Nah, I'm not interested. I definitely should have brought the golem. Let's see. Nothing there. We have some other islands, though. Let's go skip across the water. We just gotta go find those little divots that show us a bunch of stuff. Aha! Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, it's better if I'm doing the attack. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be more DPS overall. Ouchies! Uh, hello? Thank you. We gotta get rid of him first. Man, we don't even get explorer music right now because everything's like scary or, or something. Let's go with the super duper superior stake. Actually, the, I wonder if the poison needle would be better on these big guys. Like, I don't know if it actually kills them. It does crit more. Ow, crit it. Ow. Waiting. Oh my god, I just got my very first Fright Bowl. Thank god. And it had nothing to do with even luck. My settings weren't letting them grow to begin with. Oh. Well, I'm glad you were able to do that m ugly monster face. Alright, I'm actually debating on just going back real quick, getting the golem, and then coming back. Alright, yeah, the needle's not really helping. Also, I don't know why this guy is just wearing underwear, but okay. Just go away, man. Ooh, super size steak. Yeah, I think we're better off getting the golem. I know that took us a while to grab kill that guy, but I think we're better off getting the golem. So I'm going to do a quick warp back, grab the golem, and then go searching for the mithril. Because I think that's the best way to be getting them, because I will be probably taking way too long trying to smash everything. But with the golem... Actually, with the golem, I gotta be careful because it might end up uh, not showing up because it only shows so much drop stuff at once. Either way, we'll see. Also, they're starting to repeat the stuff. Oh, chemistry, lol. Oops. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty good. To get the picture just right. <laughs> oh, that is great. I definitely like that one. <laughs> Okay. Whew. 
That was good. Yeah, let's all stretch it out. Oh, there you are, Dougie. We were wondering where you went. All right, what I want to do here... Ugh, I want to make room first. Mithril is inside lumps of ore blocks at the deepest parts of the caves. Okay. And now I'm going to do... Bring this out real quick. It probably won't let me build everything I want, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Damn it. I was hoping I could just build the little, uh... The little, like, uh, registry to give me something. Let's go get that golem. No, no, I know, I know, Lodo. I was just trying to, uh... I was just trying to think about, uh, what do you call it? Like, putting another builder's stuff over in there. But, okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. While I'm thinking of it. Have our big brain moments here. First this. And then we want... Is it under decor? I forget what it's under. Big brain! Yes! I don't have many of those moments. Alright, I'm going to bring those to the end. Of course I already had one. I always already have something when I don't think I do. I'm like not paying attention when it happens. Alright, grab those. I'm going to say... We're going to keep Bobram because he's faster on land while... Chica's good, but we don't need her this time. She's been doing her a good job, but... We'll hold off on her. Alright, where are you, Smash? Smash joins the party. We're keeping Dougie with us because uh, he's pretty good for attacking. He's so smart, too big of a brain to handle. Do you watch Markiplier too? <laughs> Something that he always likes to say, anyway. All right, what we're going to do is also place one right there and something right here. That way, if I ever need something, like, really quickly, I could just grab it. All right, Sunny Sands. Yeah! yeah! Perhaps. <laughs> I like Markiplier. Oh, oh, jeez. That golem. Um... That's not a really... There you go. A little better. <laughs> Though that poor saber cat's getting stepped on now, and so is so am I. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's take a look at the pretty pictures for now. I've seen these. That one has a Legend of Zelda thing. That one's nice. School for ants. <laughs> okay, that kind of makes sense. And now Dougie's actually joining us, so we'll have a, a, another attacker. Alright, let's watch the golem sink. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's get this going. We need to get ourselves mithril. We're on a mission, man. I imagine the... Jewel bags over here. Those are the regular mountains. We just need to find one of those places in there. We have the builders whatever thing there. I'm not even going to worry about seeds right now. We are staying the course. We're not going to gather everything. Okay, here we are. Let's dive down deep. Alright, we got silver. We got... Is that silver? It might be not be silver. It might be something else, but still. Perhaps big brain function like all big brain connected. All big brain work the same. That golem's getting in my view a little bit too much. Alright, I'm gonna guess the deeper we go, the better. Ooh! We do need blue dye. 
I will take a moment just for that. Ready? No, no, stop. I can't see. Stop it! That blue dye is very valuable, so yeah. Um, what is this, white dye? Yeah, it's white dye. We don't have enough Auburn gets for uh, blue dye, so may as well grab it as we go. Also, this is also very satisfying. Smash is a damn... The, one of my favorite uh, guys here. Chica and Saber, I mean, and Balmrum are probably my others, but still. Yes. All right. A hundred blue dies. We're good. Now we can go ahead and keep looking for uh, the rest. Come on with me, and let's do it. All right, we got the dies here. Once I hit a hundred, that was just, like, felt enough. Oh, I think I remember. They're, they're like, in these little sections here, but they're, like, mixed with a bunch of dies and other such. Other stuff, right? Golem big hand punch. I perhaps the smashy smashy golem big pee pee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, deeper down. We got gold, silver, golem. And we are going to even have diamond, I think, too. Yeah, it's going to be in these little areas. Yes, you big brain. Okay, thank you. All right, that's Dolomite, baby. Um... Not seeing any yet. It's usually like in these little spots. No, stop it. I was just trying to kill that thing. I wasn't really doing much for there. Is it annoying if I speak like this? After a little while, yeah, like, only try to do it in moments, you know? <laughs> right, that's just silver, right? Ah, here it is. This is the one. That sometimes has them. But yeah, just space it out and we're good. Um, okay, I got diamond. Is there anything else over there? Come on, stop it. Stop. I, I don't need to see his rump. Oh, would you? Camera. Mine diamonds. Right, let's just go ahead and smash things out of the way. At this point, I don't really care about the stuff that's in there. The one you want with blue is what you want. Okay. Again, right now I'm just smashing through. Ooh. I just gotta keep an eye out for them. To make sure I don't smash it too much that they don't start showing up or whatever. Oh, I saw some blue. Oh, that's the berries. You know what? I think I'm better off not traveling on him. We wait to find it in the... Oh, God. Camera? There you go. All right, there's some spots here. Oh, God, stop it. We don't want you here. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything down under. No, okay. <laughs> I 
I'm like running in place with this type of speed. Oh yeah, and you're not doing much better. Blue bag, small, PQ, okay. Uh, that's nothing. And that's nothing. Oh, shush. Would you stop it, camera? Oh my goodness. Stop. I said, st no, back it up. Oh, the golem. The view is obstructed too much. There might not even be much stuff to get. All right, just follow the left. That's the idea here. If you follow your left hand, you just keep following the left until you explore every... God dang it, I hate that. Okay, if I'm going to go start your Christmas shopping. Oh, you're just starting? Good luck. I do most of mine online. Camera likes some golden thick. Exactly. Alright, here we go. The next one. Let's just go ahead and smash it for now. I know, I procrastinate every year. I mean, I, I don't have everyone done yet, but I got like two more. I'd love to do it online, except now it won't arrive on time. You don't have uh, Amazon Prime? Some that will arrive on time. Depending what you get, though. Or what you need to get. Alright, we didn't get, even get diamonds out of that one. Ugh. Uh, yeah, you do that. Camera! Alright, we got a dead end here. So, keep following the left. It's a known traveler's trick. If you're ever, like, in a mazy area, you just keep following the left until you, uh, can't. And then, uh, you just turn around and go again. Hmm. Not finding anything. Also, I have another idea. Right now, I'm just tired of uh, the golem really getting stuck everywhere and the camera going everywhere, so that's why I'm doing this myself. Let's get the shrooms up. Joe died in a car crash. Ah! Yes, the blue and the gold. I'm not sure what you're talking about here. Alright, you know what? You got banned on Dragon Quest, on, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 for saying Surfer Joe ties? What? I don't want to, but I must. What Joe? I'm not sure about what that is, but okay. Camera. I'm so sick of everything. We're just going to smash until we don't need to smash anymore. Dude, you're an orphan. I'm sorry to hear that. Right, this is underwater part, so we don't need this. You need to go away. Sorry, I'm just getting so sick of uh, getting caught on everything, so I'm just going to flatten everything. Obviously, if this was a real cave, things would start collapsing and all, but screw it. Oh, you're messing around? Okay. A 
let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to be like hyper focused at the moment, so when I see things stray like that, it's hard for me to catch the jokes. Go away. Alright, that's nothing here. Again, we're just smashing through. I mean, I technically need the gold and the Glumgus, but still. Alright, nothing else here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm now that that part to me just kind of getting some rage out. <laughs> Hang on, go down this way. Okay. I'm feeling like there's no mithril down here. It might be more worth just getting, just going the way we are here, because I feel like the time's being wasted here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, some of it's my own damn fault too, but it's like, ugh. I think I've gotten the mithril here once before when I first explored, but I'm just not finding it this time. It might not have spawned in. Alright, that's nothing. Eh, we'll do that. I'm just basically taking out anything with ores in them. Check the map. Not sure for what. We already unlocked a lot of... We ran around a lot of this. Plus, it doesn't take a... It doesn't really... Uh, if I'm, like, on the above areas and then I go down, it doesn't take that into effect too much. Yeah, I can't go. I can't do levels like I did in uh, whatever it's called, uh, Crumble Done. I do want the Malachite. A little bit. Oh, stop it! No one likes you. I know, but still helps. Eh. Alright, let's try this way now. Again, I'm just kind of like smashing through to... So I don't have to be having an awkward camera angle all the time, but also to see uh, if it maybe is like it was hiding somewhere. I know it's like a blue crystal, the mithril. Poor Baggy, it was my bestest best friend. <laughs> Not anymore! You'll get new bestest best friends. I mean, if I could, uh, recruit them, that'd be okay. Yeah, anything that has ore in it, I'm basically smashing. Oh, would you... Knock it off. Ah, uh, he slowed me down a little. Not that it's too noticeable. Alright, nothing there. We're just randomly following these tunnels. Uh, nope, that's a dead end. Okay. And I'm using the left, go, keep going left method here. Okay, nothing there. I think, yeah, we're going about to go in the circle. So I'm going to back up a little. Camera. Wow, that ice really wanted me. All 
Alright, back over there, jeez. Oh, because it was a dead end, that's why it looks like this. Never mind. Nothing there. Stop it, camera. I don't even think I'm in the right areas anymore, but I don't want to go back and get lost some more. <laughs> I'm gonna also have to eat. My character's gonna have to eat soon, too. Uh, I really was hoping that the Mithril would be just kind of like awkwardly standing somewhere. <laughs> Stop it, camera. Right, one smash here. Nothing. Damn, is this huge! No ores here, so we're just kind of smashing the path. Ah, here we go. A possibility here. Yes, we got one. I need one more. It's what she said. <laughs> And we got another one over here, hopefully. Alright, smash a little, get a little closer. Mmm, not in this one. Wait, wait, did it just give me another mithril, or is it still catching up from all the stuff we got? Let's find out. No, it's just the one, okay. It was just, it's still catching up. All right, while I'm well, giving myself a moment here to eat up. All right, I'm not seeing the things anymore here, but at least we got one so far. Now here's the question. Is it one per thing? Yes, big goal in finding things, finding ends, yes. Okay. Is it only one per, one spawn per, uh, Session, or is it going to be possible to find more than one? Camera? No. It is one per th one per pile of ore. Oh, okay. So it's possible to find it. I'm. It's still possible to find some more uh, along the way here while we're doing all this. I thought I wasn't sure if it was one per one per island session. You know, like I have to restart or something. One per pile that you may find. Also, let's move that around. I think this was the better solution because I was getting lost before. <laughs> uh, Alright, none in here, so we can just smash for a bit. Well, you know what? This is a good way to get some frustration out as well as some satisfaction, too. Yeah, but it usually spawns two to three per island. Okay. So, assuming I didn't accidentally smash it down... You know, all, then we should be able to find at least one more. All right, that's a dead end. Because it may happen that they don't spawn. Mm. Oh, here's another one. Hang on. Let's go for it. Come on, baby. I didn't see it in there. I mean, it's going to have to catch up for a bit still. Keep it going. This golem is putting in a lot of work, though. Holy shit. Go smash. Go smash. It's your name. Also, you know what? Let's stop having things separate everything. Make it a nice wide open space here, man. <laughs> Ones I got like six. Nice. All right. We're just gonna keep smashing. 
Because apparently there's no ores this way. And I'm not seeing anything over there. Wait a second. I think I see a pile in the distance. Yes! Okay. We also have a little spot over here. Alright. Nope. Just making sure. Out of my way. Smashy, smashy. Good hand smashy. Yes, it is. There it is! Okay! We finally got it. I'm just going to take a little bit of smashing to go because that was frustrating. Also, the Malachite is going to be good for if we ever want to make a temple type thing. <sighs> Alright, I think we also finished this bottom area too because now we've got nothing but already smashed areas. So, okay, I think we're good. Let's just go. <sighs> oh, that took so long. Yeah, yeah indeed. Thank you for bearing with me, guys, because that was not... Even though I was kind of, like, smashing a bunch of stuff, I can understand that wasn't the most exciting thing to watch. Oh, by the way, uh, since some of you might have missed it, I... I was give, given access to a Discord, so if you hit exclamation marks Discord, you can join it. It doesn't have much yet because I really haven't worked on it much, but uh, if you need like, to know updates or some ideas, feel free to like subscribe to it Like if you want to give ideas for things or like just want to make little funny comments or put clips there. You let me know. I'll take them all. Drinking some water. We're not going to bother with that metal slime, by the way, either, because, ugh. All right. Get to Furrow Field, and let's do this. Yeah, PS4 is not going to show the link to the Discord. But if you're watching on Twitch, you'll see it. Oh, there's our Chimera, and he's just kind of like, like, I don't know what to do now. All right. We got enough. We just need a steel broadsword. That's the iron. Here we go. Oh, jeez. My inventory's full. It's going to go all the way in the bag. All right. Let's go ahead and drop off our crap here. The poison needle thing is not going to be a thing for now. Uh, frappe. We can do this. The food's not going to matter much either. All right, Aurora Blade. Six more damage. This has fire magic. This just has magic. I'm hoping it has. It can uh, shoot stuff like the fire one. Yeah. Okay, we got that. We just got to wait for it to finish. In the meantime, it doesn't shoot magic. Oh, I'm sad. What the? Heal slime? Are you sleeping? That is a really creepy way for you to be sleeping. Or you died or something. Alright, well, in the meantime... We may as well... Oh, I don't know. Smash. So this is the outskirts over here. Everything... In the illusion when ah, I guess so. Oh hi, Ant. <laughs> I love this, but now we have like we have a uh, access to this back part, so. May as well. We're waiting for the sword to finish uh, crafting, so we may as well be doing this. And hell yeah. Make it flat. Oh, 
you fell a little bit and you broke just a tiny bit down there. Also, that was fun. <laughs> it's like One Punch Man-ish. Not that I even watched the anime, by the way. I just know the reference. Hmm. I kind of like it looking out like this. The tops need to be taken care of. Uh, I just gotta be careful. Oh, the heel slime's not looking like a dead bug now. Good. Very good. And there. Uh, mm, hmm. Damn it! I still did it. I was trying not to. It's okay. I only winged it. Okay. Oh, and one more. There you go. Overall, looks good. I'll eventually put a wall to that, but that doesn't look that bad. How are you doing, sword? The sword is finished! Hmm, it's just a powerful weapon. Alright. I'll take it, though. Goodbye for now, Falcon Sword. We will come back to you, though. Alright, and we're not going to do the shield because we can't We can't go fighting metal slimes right now. So, let's just do this now. That took way too long. <laughs> it is time. Oh, jeez, dudes. We're going to go in our little fancy little bit of funny armor here. It looks less heroic, but you know what? I kind of like it. We have... Let's take a look at our inventory. We're using the magic shield because that's the best one shield we have available right now. Fur coat and Aurora Blade. We keep all these. I have fresh water still in the bottomless pit. In the bottomless pit. In the bottomless pot. Just got my trowel, chisel, everything else. For shits and giggles. Let's go ahead and just buff ourselves before. I don't think it matters much. And I don't think this will work, but screw it. We're going to try it with the Saber Cub. Let us ride! Oh, it ticked me off. Here we go, guys. This is it then, Skasi. Now, you haven't forgotten the Builder's Soul that, that the Hairy Hermit left behind, have you? And you're equipped with the best weapons and tools you can make. Are you absolutely sure you're ready to leave? No. Very well. I want to get the Builder's Soul out. There you go. I was hoping I'd just jump into it. Yes. Very well. Remember, Scotty, you're the only one who can save Malva. And I need you to bring him back. Who else can I rely on to maintain order in Lulutopia? The island isn't the same when you two aren't around. So you have to promise to me that you'll both come back safe and sound, alright? Good luck, Scassi. We'll all be eagerly awaiting your safe return. I want to jump. I want to bring the pet. No. No. Saber Cub. The golem looking on like, no, smash. All right. Trophy earned. A step ahead. Oh, yeah. The trophy's on PS4. That's another thing I'm going to be having to go for. <laughs> oh, boy. Out of curiosity, while we're loading, do you guys know uh, if there's a way to look up your current PS4 trophies online? Like, not on the PS4, but, like, on your computer, so I could have it, like, maybe hooked up there. Otherwise, I have to use a check, uh, regular checklist. You know? Ah. I'm probably going to have to do a regular checklist then. I don't want it. I want to just have it, like, you know, I can refresh the page and it'll update eventually type of thing. <laughs> you are tainted. 
unworthy. Pitiful. Know your marks. <laughs> but you may yet be saved. I prefer, I proffer you a chance to break free from those constraints. Merely step forth from the darkness. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, Dragon Quest 3 vibes here. Come to me, my child. Can't jump. Can't attack. Can't do anything. Nah, I don't wanna. I'm running away. Nope, I can't run away. <laughs> I'm pressing buttons, but I don't know what I'm doing. I hate this noise. Ugh. Oh! I don't remember anything. Oh, mighty Malroth, lord and master of destruction. I see you have become quite attached to that form, helplessly weak though it may be. Perhaps a few sacrificial lambs will allow you to see the truth. Oh, and now we are Malroth. Nice! Nice change there, game. Ugh, what's happening to me? Yes, more! Give me more! Slow text, no! No slow text! Yes, yeah, psych! That voice! Ugh, what's going on? <laughs> As you wish. La la la. I'm just gonna run away. What if I do that? Obviously, this will be the way to finish the game peacefully. Pacifist mode, go! This is totally Undertale. Nah, as we all know with any Dragon Quest game, it's always but thou must. And so... Ugh, my head! I feel dizzy. Something's not right. Ugh. Hey, there, there, we don't have to see it. Oh, hello. Yes, I can feel it. I need more. More. Psych 2, yeah. We're Psych 3, Psych 7, Psych 17! Haha, uh -huh. I'm far away from you. Oh, I can't run as him. Don't have the access to my inventory. Oh, I'm just gonna walk straight up. Screw you guys. <laughs> He's like, haters gonna hate. <laughs> What's happening to me? I'm, I'm fading away. Fading away? Not at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. We must do away with the pathetic shell so you may return to your true form. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're saying it. Okay, fine. I won't say it, then. Jeez, game. Well, we're underwater. <laughs> huh? Where do these bodies come from? Oh, shit. That looks like Anessa. Uh, not Anessa, um, the nun, Jerome, the king of Moonbrook, Olivia, I think her name is, I forget her name, and, uh, the other old dude, jeez. Lulu! Rosie? Anessa? Who did this to you? Alright, I'll admit, I failed to say psych at the right time. <laughs> I've not died on you yet. You killed them, Mara! You! Nothing would stop taking more than a few freshly sacrificed souls, would you not agree? I... I killed them? No. You liar! I would never! Never! 
No, but you did. Pity them not the fools. Pity them not. The fools are you more useful in death than they ever were in life. They died so you may be reborn. It is an honor, an honor barely comprehensible to such base creatures as they. Uh, apparently I can't see them from here. You, you tricked me! I'll make you pay for this with your life! And here's the other bodies. There's Anessa, there's Brittany. Ooh, Babs, Ma McGroth, and either Dugby or Dougie or Digby. Give them a good corp. Give them corpses a good thwack or two. I already lost them. Apparently, I shouldn't have been running around. All right, screw this. I'm gonna be a hater's gonna hate, not walk, gonna just walk my way. Here they are. There's Rosie. Oh my God! Even Lillian. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh shit. Scarcy! How did you. No! I never meant to. The final psych. <laughs> this. This can't be happening! It is exactly as I envisioned. Your mind has been cleansed of all that repugnant memories that it had accumulated. Now, Nora, arise once more as our lord and master of destruction. Arise! Dum bum bum. Scarcy, Scarcy, please help me. Yeah, why did that Malroth noise sound like Mr. Krabs? <laughs> He's feeling it. That's why. Welcome back, Loto. To the final countdown. Hmm. Malhalla. Origin of Oblivion. No, he killed Lulu. Yes, he did. Welcome to Reverse Isle of Awakening. Hey, you can't look up my coat. <laughs> That's good. Also, you noticed, I think they killed the red one, not the uh, green one. Help! Help! Some blobby saved me before I kill myself! Oh, I don't have my uh, coat. My cloak. Oh, shoot. This is Ramia's theme here. Hang on. And the kid, too, yeah. There's no way to go. Hang on. It's the girlfriend of turn. No, this is Heavenly Flight from Dragon Quest 3. It's Ramia's theme, too, though. Because that Heavenly Flight is Ramia's theme. You came to rescue me. Thanks. Wait, are you a Gurman? What are you doing here? You're searching for your friend? Are they a Gurman like you? I'd love to help, but I can't say I've glimpsed any other Gurmans around here. Sorry. Huh? <gasps> no, don't die. Well, looks like we don't have time to cheer the blood. We've been spotted. We'll be squished if we stay here longer. 
I just don't understand how something so gruesome could happen here. This is supposed to be the promised land. Oh, but pardon me for blubbering on. Come on, let's bounce. Luckily, I'm pretty good on that. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's the white bird sky moving theme song, yeah. Oi, what are you two doing there? Did you realize the danger in? Get down this instant. Come on, move your bones. Are you on our side? Wait a sec, you're a human! What a fleshy theme! Like you doing here! State your business! What did you say? You're a builder? You're not... You've not come to launch an attack on Hoggons and Holy Realm, have you? Sorry, but the rules say no builders allowed in the Promised Land. Now stay still while I disconnect your head bone from your neck bone. We don't have time for that! We'll all be squashed, squished and squished before you have a chance to disconnect anything from anything else. You're right. In that case, we better evacuate on to a spot where I can do the job safely. Now, just the place. Follow me. Talk about an old bones. <laughs> this is bad. How's my inventory? Right? Just making sure. But now that's not a girl's voice, that's just my, well, squeaky voice. <laughs> Hello. Oh, sorry, hang on. Hello, our friend's back again. Watch out for that thing. It's armed and dangerous. You don't say. Over here. Mm, anything I should be grabbing along the way? Food. Maybe. It's Melros! It's armed because it's an arm. Uh... Look! 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 Look where her is trapped in that hole! Somebody help! Somebody help! 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 I can't escape! There's no way out! What a plunker! He must have fallen in and got all flustered. Oh well, there's nothing we can do for him now. You want to save him? Are you completely doolally? You do realize that's a monster, don't you? The natural nemesis of a human like you. You're a weird one, all right. Maybe he wants a high five. Yeah. All right, hang on, dude. Hang on. C calm your ass. And there we go. Staircase. Help! Help! How do I escape? I don't want to die on the stinking hole. Everyone has a similar voice here, sorry. Get a grip, will you? What are those wings for? You can just fly out. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to change his voice, hang on. So I can. Thanks for pointing that out. I was a bit of a fizzy just then. Don't thank me, I thank the mon this monster loving freak. I would have left you down there, but this numbskull insisted on helping. Humans are an odd bunch. Anyway, I'm leading these two to a safe place. You might as well tag along. Don't want you falling in any more holes, do we? Thanks for rescuing me. I was so daft and confused after I got stuck. It's okay. They all they all sound like our dear wrist Rosie. No Rosies like this. And that's a and that sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, apparently shadow monsters are bad. Everything else is fine. And I can only place that. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's any food I can be grabbing. Terrifying! Come with me. I know the perfect place to chop your block off. We'll be a nice and safe there, so you don't need to worry one bit. Why, what? I was a folk then help, please. <laughs> That's the place, just up ahead. We'll be out of arms way in there. Come on. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, those look pretty. Uh, 
I like how the others are following. You like the bone sounds? <laughs> Get it because arms way because yes, exactly. Oh no, I'm stuck for good now. <laughs> Never gonna get out. Now we have bounds over here. Phil, I thought I was finished for Thur. Though is this place? Is this the place? I've I've never had say, seen anything quite like it. Looks like a oh junkyard with all these broken bits and blobs are hanging around. I think it's a metal slime too. Funny enough. Take the door. I've already gotten several of those. I don't know. Scarcely was it. I'm Araplato. Thanks for rescuing me from before. And I'm Scranville. If you hadn't saved me from that hole, I'd probably be still stuck in there. The name's Griswold. Sergeant Griswold to you. Now that we've got our introductions out of the way, it's time to get down to business. Seeing as we're all safe and sound, I can finally get around to severing your skull from your shoulders. Okay. I'll just stand here and beat you up. Right, Gorgeous World. He came here to find his friend, not to squish us. Let's hear him out. Your friend's called Mara. Have I seen him? Hmm, I can't say I, that I know anyone who goes by that name. Alright, I won't kill you. I couldn't live with myself if I killed someone who was only trying to save his body. I'll kill you after you've saved him instead. It's only fair. You know what? That makes logical sense, guys. Oh, and just so you know, this place is bone dry when it comes to materials. Your building trickery won't fly here, so don't try anything funny. Leave him alone, Griswold. There's a much greater threat than we used to be worrying about. That was... Oh, sorry. This is Eric Plato. Sorry. There's enormous arms! And what about those shadowy monsters? I've been sensing an incredible destructive power in the air recently. Caught a feeling in my bones, but I reckon that there might be a connection with what's going on now. What's, what's that? Before we start getting into what's going around right here, you want to know what here is? Well, let me tell you. This planet is nothing more than a tiny blob of gloop floating in the sea of this... <coughs> Ooh, that hurt my throat. God. Let me drink some water first before I continue that voice. Ooh. Yeah, that was a real, like, cough because I was choking on that voice. <coughs> this planet is nothing more than a tiny glob of gloop floating in a sea of nothingness. The unholy promised land, reserved for the children of Hargorn's monster minions. High Priest Horgorn says that we have we're to wait here until salvation comes. But if things continue like they are, we'll be splattered before that slime ever happens. Or arrives. Try not to get so upset, Eris Puzzle. I think that I just realized something very important. Okay, let's talk to you. In all of the confusion, I forgot how hungry I was. Could you make me something to eat, Scotty? That's the hour so important thing you realized. I'm throwing a bone. And why are you asking favors from a builder? He's supposed to be the enemy. You wouldn't even know the first thing about food. You don't even have a stomach. If I'm going to die, then I must have a last meal. Scotty, if you could find some vile vines and stick them on the bonfire for a bit, I'm sure I could make it for an appetizing snack. She finds plenty of vine, vile vines outside. They're the scorbing plants that look like tentacles. Cliff. Chill. Uh, although you've got oh oh wait although you got them just cook them on the bonfire for a bit I want to see what crummy stiffs you can turn them into I'm starving oh god in that voice too that one just messes with my brain a little bit hmm well I could definitely use some materials in general this is reminding me of the original Dragon Quest Builders now. Ooh, the metal. The metal can defend pretty well. I wonder how elaborate this is going to exactly be. I mean, you guys mentioned to me it's like the shortest chapter, but still. We probably won't have time to finish the whole thing today anyway, but still. Let's go for it. 
First tentacle-tell light. Oh, hey, oil. All right, well, we're gonna probably be needing to make a bunch of these for ourselves, too. What if I, hang on. All right, let's go ahead and put general materials back there. Okay. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to check out is, oh, it's fine. 20% hunger and health. That's good. That looks yummy. Oh, I'm gonna get you though. That's not a plate of delicious pentacles for a little thumb thumb with foul finest. I got the way to get fuck in, man. Yes. Yay! Thank you. So. Given what you have to work with, I'm impressed you made it managed to make such a mouth boring meal. This stuff sinks to high heaven. Oh god, how am I gonna say this? And then that this though bitter. It's absolutely delicious. It's a very tight time, Scotty. You won't be disappointed. Oh god. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Warning, building activity detected. Warning, building activity detected. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Where? Did you hear that noise? What's it going to happen to us? How about I just smash it? You hear that weird noise, right, Scarcy? I can't stop rambling with fear. I'm sure it's come from somewhere in this room. I'd put my mind at ease if you can help me find out what made this. Really? No response, pile of scrap metal. Hmm, it's not making noise. Let's keep going and see where it's somewhere else. I can't smash that. Alright, we get some iron out of that. No response, scrap metal. Hmm, looks like this robot's not functioning anymore. This sound must be come from somewhere else. There it is. Bleep bleep. I have signs detected. Execute reboot program. No. Reboot, reboot, cancelled. Commencing system shut down. Bleep, bleep, life signs, blah, blah, yes. Bleep, bleep, reboot, program initiated. Accessing data cache. Please wait. Bleep, bleep, reboot, program failed. Insufficient pro power remaining. Please recharge fuel cells and try again. Bloop. Oh, that's easy or something done. I mean, where are we going to ever get the energy to recharge him from? Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you kidding me? An energization station blueprint. We just need... Oh, pipes. Okay. We'll steal pipes from other places and do that. Wow, what's that? Is that a blueprint? So you connect the pipes and transfer that energy from the broken killing machine into the working one. You're a genius! And if it's the pipes you're after, this room's got plenty. There's only one way to find out if this is going to work. Let's give it a splat. Okie dokie. Okay, so Ugh. can't see very well. Well, that was totally hard. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I kind of like this being monster allies now. Power source detected. Commencing energy transfer. Power systems fully operational. Initializing reboot program. Bleep bleep. Or reboot successful. Bleep bloop. Or <laughs> greetings. Assault android number zero four. H at your service. You may call me Noah. Pleased to meet you. Or no four H. Whatever. Hello Noah. All systems fully operational. Noah at your service. Nice to meet you. Thanks for mending the robots, Garcy. Your build is really on Lupendous. Oh, this is where we can maybe get our robot pal. <laughs> Estimating time offline. Or computation failed. What happened here? High turbulence detected in aura field. Searching memory banks. Possible match found. Has doomsday come already? Huh. 
What's up with this blood bucket? Sounds to me like his circuits are fried. Bzz, bleep bleep, rudeness detected. I would merely like to refresh my data banks with the latest available information. Please tell me what happened here. And they do. Databanks updated. Naha under attack from giant arms and shadow monsters. It is as my calculations predicted. Doomsday has come. You keep blabbering about this doomsday, but what does that even mean? Doomsday is the day that we are doomed to die. The day everything returns to nothing. The end of the world as we know it. I want to make a joke, but eh. The destruction is already at an advanced stage. This facility may not be safe for much longer. The giant arms will be searching for any remaining life forms. They will destroy this place and exterminate us all. Oh, I guess that's why you want me to get the door. Yeah, they found us! Armageddon. <laughs> the shadow fiends won't be far behind. We've got the, our backbones to the wall here. We'll have to fight our way out. Bum bum. Okay. Well, first thing I'm going to do... Do I have any more? Uh, yes, I do. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a little bit more food. Yeah, I ate that, but I meant to cook you. Uh, is there any other fires here that I could use? Hey, that's a nice use of uh, those light boxes to make that. Oh, wow. Those are water, huh? Well, free light boxes. I could probably just do this. I don't know what kind of water it is, but I kind of don't want to, to find out in case I ruin my water with whatever water this is. Maybe it's fresh water, maybe it's not. It's blood. Or blood, you know, you, you can't drink blood. Hmm. We also gotta remember, I don't have my cape anymore, either. Let's see, we got a bunch of other stuff here. Mmm, delicious blood. Exactly. Well, you know, some of the monsters might be okay, and hella, oh, oh. Yes, it does work. Oh, I still have my infant supplies, too. All right. I don't know how long this is going to be standing, but hey. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to build anything with those, but... Why not? What about you? Ooh! Okay. I kind of want to steal this. I could make infinite, I know, but it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to build it yet. I don't have a builder's thing. Hmm. Anything else I could grab before we start? Well, I want to make one more food bit. I think what I'm going to do is tunnel my way out. Screw you guys, I'm going out. <laughs> Mostly I want make bit general materials for travel, since we lost a lot of abilities here. Yep. Yeah, once this one's done, we'll actually start it. There we go. Alright, three food to try to tide us over. Looks like that arms brought an army of shadow fiends along. We'll have to break through their lines and make our escape. It's the only way out. Well, Builder, are you ready to fight to save your skin and my bones? Yes. I hope you mean that, Scarcy. I won't pretend to understand what's going on around here, but one thing's for sure. I'm not giving up without a fight. 
Here, take this. I'm oh, sorry. Here, take this. It's happy and bad. So I did slap on it too much. So, scoff this. It, you get hurt. It will make you feel better. Oh, he gives me some back. I know another place where we might be able to take refuge and rest our weary bones. It's a last resort, but it should be safer than here. I love that we're teaming up with the monsters, like straight up with the monsters, not just with some monsters. It's pretty damn good. All right, get rid of the mages. They're the more annoying. Wait for it. Yeah. I love the design on the shadow creatures here. Shove him over a little bit. There you go. Oh wait, I'm leveling up more. Woohoo! Level 31, HP up. Victory! Enemies exterminated. It feels good to give my ball bearings a spin after so long. Oh, there's a joke there. <laughs> you may be a pony to tough human builder, but you fight like a monster. Are you really intent that intent on finding your buddy? By the way, Ghoul's World, where's this new safe place you said we could make our getaway to? The Haven of Hargon. It's called an it's called an unholy hovel of hatred high atop a hill. With the workshop destroyed, there's nowhere safer for miles around. Dependent idea. That's where Ellen will be. An, impl an impious priestess like her will know what to do. His voice is... Hey, by the way, that voice is going to change all the time. The only thing that won't change is the stutter. <laughs> well then, should we get going? Slime is of its essence. You're coming along too, aren't you, Scotty? What? You came to look for your friend, not hide away in some haven? But you'll be mashed and mush if you stay here. Blade bloop, bloop, calculating scarcity of survival odds. Were Warning, warning, extreme low chance of survival. Abort mission, repeat, abort mission. All oh, they care. You really won't come with us, Scarcy? But you'll die of for certain if you stay here. Leave him. He's made up his mind. Besides, humans and monsters are mortal enemies. Trust me, it's better if we go our separate ways. Come on, Scarcy. When when we get to Haven of Hawkon, we'll ask Helen if she knows anything about your buddy. She's bound to have heard something. She's one of the wisest priestesses of the Desert of Hawkon have got. Girls, blow out, Scarcy. It can't hurt to ask. Besides, I don't want us to say goodbye yet. Yes. And even he's dancing too. Oh, he's like, whoop, wait, no. No, no. Go away! The first thing we'll do then when we get there is ask for a friend. I'm really clued up on the comings and goings around here. <sighs> Alright then. I suppose you can come with us. Just stick close and follow me. I will in a moment. Just wanna grab a little bit of something here. We're just gonna take it. I also like the new furnace look. Alright, um... I don't think we got much else. I guess the light sources, just in case. I already got enough iron. I don't know if I'll need more pipes. The fire, the fire. We definitely want to get make more food on our own. Uh, oh, and wood. And a bed. Bed for healing. I don't really know if I could use that much, but whatever. All right, we got what we got, Ken. Oh. 
I do want these for later. I like the color green if you guys haven't caught on. <laughs> now we have bounds! We're doing it, we're doing it. After we get this. It's more food, so it's a good idea. Over here! What in the world is that? It's fucking everything in! Bleep bleep, radio analysis in progress. Warning, warning, super high density gravitational globule detected. Do not make contact. Yeah. There's no telling what might happen if that thing slips us up. Does that mean we can't go any further? We're gonna have to risk it. There's no other way through. Just watch where you're walking and don't go any closer to that thing that you have to. Oh yeah, time to infiltrate a giant robot elven. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, I got an idea. Whoa! Um... Was that supposed to happen? Um... Come on, you lazy bones, try to keep up! Okay. <laughs> I was a little worried there. <laughs> I was like, really? Already? Danger, danger, warning, warning. <laughs> Look out! And I'm, not, I'm sorry. Look, look out! Then no one's arm is back. This is going to smart. <gasps> Crossbow. Oh. Blue and no, my leg smarts. <sighs> that arm really packs a wallop. I don't know if I can walk. You go on ahead. I'll only slow you down. Don't worry about me. I'm undead. They can't kill me twice. Now get going. Eh? You'll never leave a man behind? Pah! You're talking crazy again. I don't want to leave you either, Bristol. Besides, I think I know the way from here. As long as we take it nice and slowly, you can make it. Follow me, everyone. This way. Um, did you just forget where the way you went? There you go. Their pathfinding is a little bad. Are you okay, Grizzle? Oh. Here, I'm just going to grab some of those vines. It's the only food source we got at the moment. There you go. Oh yeah, well, he's waiting for him. Also, I love the stuff like stuck in the air like this. This looks amazing. Can I get rocks out of those? Yes, I can. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Welcome back, Loto, and hey, Tina. As you can see, we finally are progressing. Let me organize again. Anything that's not something I need to have right away in my inventory, let's go ahead and put it away. Got this. We mainly need the building stuff and stuff for food. Good fool. Are you still with us? Good. The hidden hog on is just this, up this way. All we have to do is climb up. Warning, path terminates ahead, progress impeded. How are we going to get across? I got it. Make it nice and safe for them. You made a bread! That's slipper dipper! The haven of Hargrin are right! Huh. Yet again, you and your building girls, skills, not girls, <laughs> save the day. Maybe you builders aren't so bad after all. Come on, Grinzel. 
Stop standing around. The hate little hog is too far now. Them chunkers need a thick pen. Oh shit. Beep! The arms back to squash us again! Watch out! Oh shit. No! Grass world! He's, he's gone. And he's never coming back. No, why was he gone so young? Young, it was like a father to me, and now he leaves us forever. I have a feeling he's right under us because I can't move the camera. Right? Right? Come on, game. Right? Nope. Never mind. Oh, shit. I, I was really expecting him to be right below us again. I wonder what would happen if I tried building, like, something below to catch him. There's the Rizwell! He has left us to return to the great server in the cloud. May his data live long in our memory. Now we must proceed to the haven of Hargon. I'm sorry you had to end this like this, Griswold. Hmm. Remember in all chapters, one character must die. Yeah, that's true. I'm just gonna make a safety here. Okay. Yeah, before we were fighting the children of Hargon, and now we're allying ourselves with them. I kind of like it. Oh, hey! There she is! Is this the haven of Hargon? Or the place is in ruins? Rifle detected. Could that be Helen? Further information required. Master, what's the mysterious ways? Who dares to steal my prayer? I know you... N I know you not the name of Helen the Horrible. No. No, you say? Well then, allow me to introduce myself. I am Helen, one of the three cardinal card cardinal cardinals of the children of Hargon. Is there something that you require of me? Speak up. Oh, great and glorious Helen, please save us. Everything being, is being squished and squashed, and we don't have anywhere else to go. Save you? But my child, why would I ever need to do that? Why would I ever would I need to do that? This destruction will be your salvation. Rejoice, my children, for doomsday is here at last. The end of all things will soon be upon us. This world will be destroyed. The children of Hargon with it. At, all at the unholy hand of the Lord and Master of Destruction. No, no, that's not right. It's not everything that gets collaborated, is it? I mean, I know that the Master of Destruction was going to reawaken, but he's only supposed to wipe out the old world, isn't he? Not everything! The master shall leave no stone unturned in his quest for destruction. And then all those stones shall be destroyed. There is no escape. We can struggle all these like, but it won't make a difference. Maybe it'd be easier if we just gave up the ghost. I can't believe you're just saying that! You've forgotten about Scousy, our resident builder! If anyone can get out of this squeeze, he can! What? Did you say this boy is a builder? If this is true, then you are the nemesis of our lord and master. I should sacrifice you upon in this altar, here and now. Now, Helen, if Goobster is going to finish us all off anyway, then won't you let us look after Scarcy until it's time to say goodbye? We promise you'll be good. Come on, Scarcy, let's have a look around and see if there's anything useful that might get us out of this sticky situation. Jeez. Well, let's go get some free rocks first. I don't know if I'll have a chance to actually build much, but we may as well be doing it, you know? Aha! Oh, hey, that's a nice... I love that look for the chalk outline. Okay, guys, someone remind me of this. Oh, wait, can I steal this as a blueprint? Oh, camera? Let's make this a blueprint, because I want to make one. All right, we'll go from... No, no, not a race. All right, let's take a look. See, make sure everything's right. All right, it just got it. Perfect. Now, how do I... 
take it. Oh, draw a blueprint. Select the height of the blueprint by using L1 and R2. That's perfect. Select the blueprint's orientation. Guess like that. Okay. Red pencil sketch. Nice. Okay. I feel better about doing that, by the way. <laughs> Otherwise, I was totally going to forget about it. Let's put some water in here for no reason. <laughs> what have you found there? I've never seen such a table like that. Very curious. Curious. Ah, yes, that old thing. It sat there for as long as I can remember. When the master of destruction bestowed his right, right his ruination from our haven, I thought he would lay waste to that worthless table, too. But as his almighty arm was poised to strike, it hesitated. Or uh, so it seemed. Perhaps I was imagining things. Oh, he's still in there. Anyway, as you can see, the table remains unscathed. Huh? What's that leaning against it? It's glowing. Ha 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 ha. What? What is that, Scarcy? Some kind of club? Yes, it is. And you think you made it only... Oh, sorry. And you think... You made it only using the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Thanks, Garcy. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me. What's this? Did you make me a new weapon? <laughs> Thanks, I love it. This is so sad. Can we get two subs? Oh, Marks, jeez. <laughs> I don't have any... If I had um, emotes, I would totally uh, say, yeah, go ahead, guys, do it. But I don't have emotes. I don't really have much. That's why I say don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll just use this one from now on, but I'll keep a hold of the old oaken club you made me, too. After all, it's the first thing that you ever made me. I suppose it's got sentimental value. Um, are you alright, Starcy? Does that club mean anything to you? More importantly, why is it glowing? Maybe you picked it up. Obtains Malroth's club. Now what? That sludge is the same one you made for your this friend of yours? It, bl oh, it belonged to your friend? I very much doubt that. Explain yourself. He came here in search of Malroth. Well, what trickery is this builder? How could you possibly know that name? Malroth? Is he a friend? Is your friend too, Helen? That would be a, would be a coincidence. Only the upper echelons of the children of Halgan are supposed to know his name. How could a human like you possibly have heard it? Do not try to deceive me, Urchin. It is unfathomable to think that the Master of Destruction would ever befriend one such as you. Oh, the blueprint switch is doing that. Let me, uh, put it away. Can I equip that now? That'd be cool if I could, but no. What can we build here? Infernal Workbench needs Malrothium. <laughs> Iron blocks. We can make fire. We can make a notice board. Oh, hey. <laughs> In case you're missing your old life, you can look at the old uh, some other things and be happy about it. I'm gonna make a little bit of oil. I mean, uh, of those. Uh, bonfire, let's make a couple. The ladders are going to be super important. Uh, don't make that many, because I, when I beat this, it's eventually going to come back to us, so... There we go. And also, let me... Stop that. <laughs> I didn't really need to need to make that. I was just kind of messing around there. Here. If I want water somewhere... Wait. Can you... You can't put it there? There you go. I wanted some fresh water around somewhere. Just so uh, if I pick up some other type of water, I still have it. You know? Alright, uh, let's see. You got an old torch here. You know, I probably shouldn't grab stuff from here yet. I don't know if this is going to be where we're staying. Scarcy, are you really friends with the Master of Destruction? I would flabbergasted if you are. Yes. No way! A German like you? Ugh, 
It's killing my throat again. Hang on. I'm sorry, guys. I need water. A government like you, friends with the master, can you introduce us? Don't be so gullible, Air Bottle. Of course we're not friends. Listen here, Scotty. You shouldn't play silly jokes on that impressionable young sign. Aristotle, Air the killer of throat. Yes, he is. Griswold's dead. The haven of Hoggard is in ruins. The future is as bleak as it ever been. And all you want to do is cause mischief. Don't listen to him, Scousy. I believe you. I know you want to go around spreading lies. You're a builder, right? Isn't there something you can slop together that might stop everyone being so grumpy? Wait, wait, does not compute. How will he make anything without materials? This place is barren. Oh, I've been making stuff already. Ah, I know. I'm just gonna use this. A splat of oil. That's a bit of me. Ew. If it helps you to save us from gums, Gary, I'll give all the oil in my blobby body. This is error of a detected in selflessness sensors. Oh my god, Noah. Recalculating. Grumpiness reduction plan determined. Maybe if this place was a little brighter, it might help to defrag everyone's mood. Sounds like a grand idea to me. There are four sconces in the Haven's ruins that are to be burned brightly, but they've all been blown out. If only we had a way to relight them. Well, I've already made them, so let's do it. I'm glad I didn't smash that now. Oh, they got another uh, one there, too. You know, while we're doing all this... Hopefully things won't get destroyed as soon as I'm, like, done doing things here. So this, this, and we'll go ahead and cook these up because we're probably going to need them. But yeah, air splattles definitely kill my throat. Ugh. Okay, you over here. Oh, it's not like I could break them anyway. Okay. Go away! I'm gonna kill your throat! <laughs> This is your poem, Slousy. You relit all the sconces. Huh? Oh, no way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are we really going to be doing this like this? <laughs> Stupendous! The whole area around the haven is lit up now. Now every blob is bound to start feeling sunnier. But his voice changes, that's because my throat's giving out a little bit there. What is the meaning of this builder? Such behavior is forbidden in the Promised Land. For a human was a builder, to kindle the beautiful blue flame of the monsters. This would not do. Eris Blow. Fuck goo, Scarcy, I hate your neck. <laughs> I agree to spare you before, but maybe we would be all better off if I were to extinguish your life before Doomsday comes. Wait, there's a second. Coffee, now that the lights are a bit brighter here, I can see the light again. In more ways than one. Perhaps our outlook is not as bleak as I feared. So the builder's tricks have poisoned your mind, too. Very well, I will let nature run its course. But do not be surprised if the master seeks to punish you. Illuminate the heaven. Thanks, Coffee. The ground where the... The haven used to stand is looking much brighter now. I even think it's lifted everyone's spirits a little. I know I accused you of telling this before, but I'm starting to believe that you might be sent with the method of destruction. Locating your friend is a high priority task, but it is not our only priority. To survive Doomsday, we will need your building skills. Chances of survival without Scarcity's help, zero. Chances of survival with Scarcity's help, slightly more than zero. I like his voice. His voice is easy. I just go really in monotone. <laughs> I learned a new recipe. Sinister scones. Yay! I wanted to make those to begin with. 
Awesome. Hmm. Well, I want to go steal some things too, so let's just go to yoink. I'll probably end up using them anyway, but you know. All right, the uh, Noah has something for us. Also food. Oh, oh yeah, and I forgot the slimes will also give uh, oil whenever there's a fire nearby. Now let's make this a nice little cooking square here. And cook some more, because, yeah, your hunger's going to go down. Gonna miss all those meals that we had, though. Part of me wishes I could bring at least just the food, or maybe just everything in this one inventory slot area or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I understand why they did it this way. <laughs> when the Master of Destruction is rebooted, Doomsday will follow soon after. However, I am not ready for the plug to be pulled on my life. However, there is a way that we may be able to survive the destruction. I'm talking about an arm raid shelter. If we could protect our circuits in a robust shelter when Doomsday comes, we might just be able to survive through the obliteration. That's going to be hard to do. You do not have time to construct a shelter. You need to find your friend. Well, that is your prerogative. However, I calculate that a shelter would be of benefit for you too, Scarcy. Please hear me out. Many scared monsters are out there waiting for Doomsday to arrive. If they knew there was a shelter to protect them from destruction, they would seek refuge there. Perhaps some of them have information on your friend's coordinates. I calculate that this is the most possible, most efficient way to gather a comprehensive data set. I understand where you're coming from, Noah, but don't you think that it should be for Scarcy to decide what's best to build? Indeed, do not place your trust in this sinful builder. He cannot save us. Our salvation will come in the form of a complete and utter destruction. Be, be quiet. I am not ready to power down. There is plenty of energy left in my fuel cells. I refuse to let it go to waste. Please, Garcy, will you construct a safe shelter and rescue Malhalla's monsters? I'm instantly agreeing with him. I don't want to mess him around with them, really. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Pleasure indicators activated. Thank you, Scarcy. You have made an op obsolete robot very happy. We must begin work on the shelter immediately. Doomsday is fast approaching. Uh, anytime Eris Blottle's not talking is the better. Awesome. Let's make this unholy church a little awesome. Draws out an arm raid shelter blueprint. What do we need for it? Iron blocks. I don't know if that'll help much, but we do have some that I stole. Citadel wall. Okay, we have some. Citadel floor. Spaceship wall. What the? F spaceship wall? Are we making a saucer? Uh, doors of doom. <laughs> Alright. Bleep bleep. Did you generate this blueprint, Scarcy? It will provide an excellent refuge for the monsters when it is complete. You're a genius! Who would have thought to upgrade the remains of a haven into a super shelter for, um, for our monster mates? Eris Bottle. Hey! Scarcy, no. <laughs> Marks. You would desecrate the unholy haven of Hargon. The master destruction raised it with its own hand. Drawing a blueprint is all well and good, but how are you going to build it? You don't have many materials. Critical problem detected. No matter how much we squeeze Eris Blottle, he will never secrete any blocks. <laughs> okay. <coughs> that just... <laughs> that hurt. Well, that was that was pretty good. <laughs> I just had a very odd visual there. Alright. Well, luckily, I planned ahead. We're going to need a lot of iron, so let's just make infinite iron. For those iron blocks. Uh, let's see, we also can build the bronze, because why the hell not? It sucks when you have to do this all yourself, but whatever. Uh, steel! Ooh, we can make some steel. 
Okay. Now I gotta talk to Helen eventually. Also, let's break the stuff that's already broken. There you go, and... Because it's basically rock material for me. Uh, okay. Looks good. Can I move this? Yes, I can. Okay, good. We're going to go ahead and put our building stuff on this side. Unless this is not a good spot for it, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to swipe at us from the side or something. Grab up some extra food. This is very limited food here, but we may as well be ready. There you go. You seek to defile the haven of Hargon with your brutish blocks. Do not think for one moment I shall aid you in this sinful scheme, Builder. Oh, that's right. I nearly forgot. Helen is one of the wisest tree sisters in the field of Hargon. If anyone knows where we could find the materials the blade to build the blueprint, it's her. You're even more of an imbecile than you look. Even if I did know, why would I reveal such a dangerous information to a builder and his traitorous lackeys, pray tell? You're just being selfish now. Erisbald nearly squeezed himself dry trying to get that oil before. I think you need to stop pulling your weight. Initiating priestess, priestess persuasion protocol. Remember, Scarcy is the master's friend. If you mistreat him, there is a high probability you will face punishment. I, I, I refuse to believe that. It's inconceivable. It is inconceivable that this human could have formed a, a friendship with our master, isn't it? But if by some strange twist of fate he speaks the truth, very well. I shall cooperate for now. Set a course southwest of here. You will find the, the molted carapace of our master, shed, a, shed as his power grew and his monstrous form changed. Bring back me... Bring me back to me five terrible talons, three humongous horns, and ten blocks of his scales. Succeed in this simple task, and I will tell you what I know. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear that, Scarcy? She'll tell us how to make materials. Isn't that great? All we have to do is find the master of destruction's slimy old skin and bring back a few bits and bobs. I'll go with you. You're not too much help, but okay. Oh, I can't ride you, though. That's That would been kind of fun. All right, first things first. Boop, ba doop. So it's over there. Oh, we got some fighting to do. Well, at least you'll be a distraction. You're, you're a good tank. Look, it's one of those gravitational globules. Open the deep goo goo if that thing slips us up. Let's look for another way around. May as well kill these guys. Ooh, we're getting some materials here. So much missed opportunity in this game. Shake my head. Yeah, I can tell already. You can make the... I'm guessing this is not as big of a chapter anyway, but they could have made this a full chapter, I think. And another one! If that thing swallows us up, we're sure to come to a sticky end. We can't go this way either. Let's keep looking for a safe path. We're right here. Okay. Oh, hey! Not if it's gonna fit on in the timer on this world. Hmm, yeah. Level 32, HP up. These guys are probably really good for just levels in general. Because there's so many of them and they could summon more help for more experience. They're not good individual experience, just some. I we followed Helen's directions correctly, the Master Shed skin should be somewhere close. Gooey! Is that what she was talking about? Oh. Those pointy things look like hordes to me. We should bounce up for a closer look. What about those blocks? Does this look like scales to you, Scuzzy? We'll have to... We have to burp first, and then we'll have to go and check. <laughs> hmm, I don't, can't see any talons up there. Uh, maybe they're on the ground instead. 
It's time to go look in for a closer look. Let's grab all the scales, horns, and claws we need and take them back to Helen. Oh, he casts spells. Cool. All right, let's see. look on the ground first. So that's what he said. Hmm, no, okay. In that case, we'll go ahead and just climb on up. So, how you? Oh, I miss having my uh, little cape now. Well, we got plenty of little materials here, so that's fine. Scales, okay. Oh shit! Hello. I I see you. I'm planning to gather tons of scales, but uh, <laughs> he was waving at us, so you know. I imagine this will also let me get some equipment out of it, too. I imagine this is going to be the only place you're going to be able to get scales anyway. Uh, for now, anyway. Or maybe there's going to be like a monster that will drop them or something rarely later on that I'm not aware of yet. But either way, we should just do this. Oh, that's just regular falling apart stuff. We got what we can there. Oh, don't follow us. We're busy. Oh, I do have it. Whoa. Okay, we just don't have it long. It's just like the fires. I guess, I'm guessing their reasoning is going to be like, oh, it's uh, uh, no wind here or something. No natural winds. Well, I can use it to slow my fall if I need to. I'm just going to grab as many skills as I can here, like uh, Marx has advised. Don't worry, I'm not going to grab every single one. I'm just going to gather probably like, yeah, 500. There you go. And just in case we need extra. Oh, and those are the talons. Everything Helen asked for, let's head back to the Haven. You can't walk here, and you that magic cape of yours won't work either, so I had to go on foot. <laughs> foot. I said that weirdly. Yeah, if if my cape was working, I would totally be exploring around here. Yeah, hi to you guys too. We're not interested. You know what? Since they're already on the ground, we may as well just take a little snag here. Alright, let's go, guys. Er, <laughs> sorry. Let's go, uh, Glomp, whatever your name is. What is your name again? Eris <laughs> I was gonna call him Globjewel. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a baboon here. How you doing? 
Spoon's Day can't be far a foul. Goodbye, cruel world. It was nice knowing you. Oh, don't die. There you go. That'll solve everything. Forever. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and grab some things here, too. I'm not really caring about those. I wanted to get the mushrooms. And this. I'm going to leave some mushrooms here, just in case they're needed for something. Like fresh, I mean. Amazing. The bill returns, and with everything I asked him to collect from the master's moat, no less. The arms of that last, that last this land are indeed those of our lord. However, his power fluctuates uncontrollably, making his rampages violent and erratic. As he struggles to contain this burgeoning strength, he must destroy himself to be reborn ever stronger. The items I sent to you to gather are the remains of one of his discarded shells. That's a jelly interesting story, but why did you want us to bring back this slapped off gunk? Are we going to build stuff out of it? Very well. I should tell you what I know. The pre precise method has been long forbidden, but there is a way to transform those moated relics into usable materials. However, to do so requires an altar of the most monstrous nature. I wonder if that oh so clever builder has the wherewithal to dabble in such in the dark arts. Okay. Is he gonna learn defense of the dark arts? Nah, nah. Forbidden altar. An arcane apparatus for performing unholy alchemical experiments. Can we use extract materials from Malrath's shell? What? You've learned how to build the forbidden altar? But, but that, that is a secret no human should know. Very well. Now that the secret is out, there's no reason to stop you from making use of it. Once you have crafted the Forbidden Altar, place any of the terrible talons, humongous horns, or blocks of scales inside it. After a short while, his unholy appendages will be transformed into the sinful materials you seek. Well, what are you waiting for? Make the Forbidden Altar. The Mahala is a land of bereft of materials, but fear not. Simply placing some sinister items like the terrible talons in the Forbidden Altar transform them into something useful. Hey, you beat the me evil mech elephant. Good job, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, right. Well, first things first. Food. Glorious food. Go ahead and put the vines in. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and make that now. Is it gonna be like a furnace where you just kind of leave it there? All right, I'll put it over here for now. Yeah, it's kind of like a cooking place here. I guess I should make maybe multiple ones if I can. Hmm, I got plenty of scales, and it got enough bones. Okay, yeah. I'll make, it, like, just one more. Oh, hey! Reinforced Iron Corner. The angular corner of an astonishing arc. Rod of reinforced iron, big bolts. Nice. Oh, jeez. They're just throwing these at me now. Citadel wall. Yes! I can finally make some. Citadel floor. And what do we have here? Spaceship wall. That is still weird. <laughs> Doors of doom. Okay. Alright, let's try you. 
Oh, these take a while. Hmm. Well, luckily, I made another one. I'll, I'll talk to you in a moment. Just bug off for a second. Let's try a Temple Talon. So this is the pernicious... Per pernicious? Pernicious power of the Fibbidin Altar at work. The Master of Destruction will not be impressed to learn his body parts have been converted into building materials. I fear we will all be punished for this. I knew it. It was a mistake to join hands with a human. I should have separated your head from your shoulders when I first had the chance. Well, better late than never. <laughs> Only kidding. Psych! We shall all face Master's Judgment soon enough. Until then, you may use the Forbidden Altar to transform his detritus into your sinful materials at your leisure. Which of his discarded bodies will produce which items and in what numbers is for fate to decide. All you can do all you can do is persevere until your needs are met. Oh, it's random, okay. This is great, Scarcy! Now you know how to get the ingredients you need. It's time you showed us why the children of Hargoon hate you so much. <laughs> you say that, but I don't think his our uh, wise priestess hated Scarcy. In fact, I think she's taken a bit of a sign to him. Not in the slightest. As a devotee and scholar of the Master of Destruction, I'm merely interested to learn more of the extent of his powers. He's sounding a lot like Pastor Al, man. It is most intriguing that his discarded debris could be put to use by his arch nemesis. This is worthy of further study. Lead procedure confirmed. Place relics of Malroth in the Forbidden Altar to, recre to create construction materials. Then you can use them to build the shelter, just like you splattered out in the glue print. Sorry, Scarcy, but there's no way a monster can help you build. It's a sin. You'll have to handle the construction yourself. That's okay. I expected that. But first things first, we need to make room here. Anything that's not going to be used as need, you know, in this, we can just put away. Uh, yes, we got this. We got you. You. Looks okay. Alright, let's first see... I don't need any handrails. How about Citadel butt buttresses? <laughs> no, no buttresses. Just the wall. Alright, so the front needs just a few here. A couple there. Nope. I was totally missing there. Let's see, uh, and we're done with the walls. Okay, iron blocks are next. Hmm, that's a little more trickier, but okay. So... Is it all the way to the back? Yes, okay. These are the ones that I already had found, so... I'm glad I grabbed the ones there before we left. Saves us a little bit of time. Oh, come on. You can do it. No. There you go. Alright, so that's a good start there. Alright, that one's just iron. Oh, it's always random, that's what it is. Right. This one's faster, so I'll just do this. We got mess loads of iron, I'm not worried. Alright, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna finish building this, and then we're probably gonna end it, because it's been almost four hours. Oh wait, no, don't, no, stop. But, not yet. I want to just get this built. We have the materials. We have the powers. We can do this. Oh, I got too much crap in my inventory again. I guess this can go in there for now. Okay, 
Okay, that goes there and there. We have a couple more iron. Oh, I only made a little bit. Whoopsie. It's kind of nice, though, that they make you go back to doing this yourself a little bit. I mean, only a little. Very, very little. <laughs> Okay, we got that. Probably make a few more. Oh wait, no, we have enough, it said. I made just enough. So we're just gonna put one underneath. And iron block's done. So we only got spaceship walls, doors of doom, and that's it. And that's my phone telling me dinner's just about ready anyway, so that's kind of good. Let's see. I only had a little bit of Malrothium. But apparently that's just enough. Any more? Oh, it's got to fall all the way around. Oh, not there. Hmm. Spaceship wall is going to be on the other side, but I could put more of those. Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm holding it. That's why. Well, it looks kind of like a spaceship already. Nope. Does it not need any more than that? It look oh I need spaceship corners. Whoopsie. I'm like putting the wrong one down. Beep boop. Exactly. Oh come on. Really? Game come on, game. Oh, it's a little bit closer in. Okay. Jeez. Okay, get that. We're almost there. Just need the doors of doom now. All right, let's go ahead and just kind of put these away. Also, let's go ahead and see what we got. That's good. Again, make, put down more scales and do this. Can you move? Click that, and now doors of doom. Speed boop boop. <laughs> All right, here we go. After I collect everything. So I don't think we're going to blast off yet, but just in case, it's a good idea. And... Oh, we got that already. No, no, no. There you go. Please, the Arm Raid Shelter Blueprint. Beep beep. Completed blueprint detected. Is this a shelter? It's magnificent. Magnificent. Sorry. Look around the blueprint's finished. Hurry. Run. Run to look at it. Well, it's certainly the same building you built made, Scotty. I've never seen anything quite like it. Searching databanks, the outer walls are unlike anything found on Malhalla. Protection factor, maximal. Survival chances increased. Though you are the sworn enemy of the children of Hagan, you would rebuild one of our order's most unholy havens in order to save us from destruction? There's something about you, builders. Something very peculiar, and yet very interesting. I'm falling in love with you. No, I'm joking. No, not builders, but you, Skazi. You're indeed the most intriguing individual, indeed. 
If you are truly our friend and master of destruction, perhaps it would be wise of me to help you. After all, no matter what the children of Hawkins' teachings tell us about builders, I am sworn to serve the mighty Malra first and foremost. Hey, whatever logic's gonna help you, lady. But okay, we did it. I'm gonna end the stream here because it's basically dinner time or at least time to take a break anyway. It's almost been four hours, so it's great that we were able to uh, play some of this. Tonight, we're probably gonna play Don't Starve Together, the Mafia mod, so I hope you guys look forward to that. Um, and I can be on tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be on in the afternoon to do Dragon Quest Builders 2 again, but I'll try, okay? I am off uh, tomorrow still. But after that, it's going to be Saturday, so it's gonna, we're going to go back to my normal schedule. But I hope you've been enjoying a little extra streams lately. <laughs> Have a good one. Marks, thanks for the help. Lodo, you too. Everyone else that stopped by, I appreciate it. Take care, folks. <laughs>